G'day everybody and welcome back for some more RVs at war with Black no, Shadow. Wait. Oh you close the door! Run! What? You opened the door. No, you had the door closed, so I had to open the door. Yeah, I opened the I had the door closed because otherwise you would have died. You're cheating. What? Ow! I mean my helmet's open. I mean, um, I can fix that for you. <laughs> Please don't cut off my helmet. <laughs> no, 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 bad shadow. Bad shadow. Ow! Why? You do bleed. You are a human. <laughs> Why do you like this? <laughs> All right, I'll fix it. Jeez. I don't <laughs> know what, I, I, what is it about me and getting reset on my suit every single time? That is a good question. Also, Ratfink, thank you for the 12 month resub, you madman! A whole year! Okay. Thank you! Okay, so, Shadow, I accidentally booted you out of your cockpit during the stream last week. Um, and that's why you were. That's why. Hey, you bear bear! That's why you woke up inside the <laughs> truck, because I kept you alive in the one pressurized space we have. <laughs> Oh, that sound. The the bad bear. Dab 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 dab. Yeah, I kept you alive. <laughs> Don't try and kill me. I did good. Did good, not evil. Did you do good when? What was that sound? What was what sound? The the drilling uh, sound you can just... hear. No, the repeated clicking of the med kit when you're um. Ah. Oh. survival kit. Whoa. So I've made the drill rig. Uh, you're certainly drilling something. I'm not sure how you're doing it. What do you mean? But I think you followed out the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is what Shadow's seeing right now. Oh, wait. Part of it fixed. There is a but... chunk that didn't load. <laughs> uh, good job. Uh, well, I should here. be saying that to you. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, I'm going to expand the drill rig. Uh, how's the power looking on your thingy? On your um, mining vehicle? Uh, that is a good question. I wish I had a Wi-Fi connection. Or even Bluetooth. Um, yeah, but Bluetooth would be spotty, unreliable, and you have to constantly retrain it to know where you are. Uh, know what you want to be connected to, I should say. What the ho? Hey, I saw my own legs as I was getting into the cockpit. Fancy. Am I not streaming this? I should be. Yeah, Shadow's I think life. I'm live. Also, thanks so much, Tedian, for 11 months. 23% and lowering. Oh, we're draining your power? Uh, do we have. Yep. Do you reckon we have enough ice? that we could run an, uh, some O2H2 gens and um, whatchamacallits. Engines? Yeah, those. <laughs> uh, well, depends. Do we have enough ice, Mr. Miner? I don't know. I don't know how much ice we have. <laughs> I would not know either. We have... Also 450,000 ish, 500 and something thousand kilos of ice. We should be able to run an engine or two, yeah. Also, is the truck currently connected to the base? No. No, it is not. Um, Maybe the best course of action is to build a connector on the base and me having to transport that miner onto it, maybe? Uh, yeah, or if you build the collector thing, we can just dump, because that's what the truck was designed to do. You know how it's got uh, the, the ejectors so that you can dump out from the truck? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So if you've got a, if you build a drive over collector thing, uh, we can get everything off the truck. But also, I, I don't see how that will provide power to the miner. Uh, it, it won't. Um, initially, no. <laughs> but yes, sorry, I didn't realize you were doing the power for the money, because we also need to offload the truck. 
the truck is full of stuff. Ah. Uh, so okay, let me just quickly. Good stuff. Let me quickly just place a connector on that base so I can recharge the miner and then I can do the collector in the meantime. Ow. Also, Dominator, thank you for the five month resub as well. Um, as Bad to man. the people wondering about how the my uh, starting soon screen was recorded, I had actual people fly those ships. I had the usual suspects get in and help me and fly those um, ships, do stuff with them, drive those trucks, and they had to suffer through director splitsy to for it all to get done so that the timing would be right. That's how that was done. Basically, anything these days that requires me to have more than one engineer or, you know, extra engineers to do stuff, I usually ask actual people for help because it's so much quicker than trying to do it myself. Back in the day, I did a lot of it with multiple PCs and using CapEx PC and doing all that stuff. That was just because it was easier to do it that way. <laughs> Why is the strong unknown signal moving? Uh, it's not. Um, it is for me. It says 66 k's away. 66.5. Um, it's just saying 75.63 here. Interesting. I'm the host and I'm the one seeing the crazy things. Right. You? Crazy? No. Never. All right. Time to build a whole bunch of pistons. Oh. I like the sound of that. Well, you know, got to got to put us on a floating island of rock. Ah. Okay, you're digging your moat. Piston head could not be placed. Ah. Uh, yeah, but I'm digging it from underneath. Okay. <laughs> you know how we're on a spherical planet? What's going to happen if my mining hole is dug perfectly straight to all sides? It's eventually going to pop through the surface. Yeah, I was thinking you digging downwards the entire time and I was about to say, like, you go home. <laughs> no, I'm digging sideways to get all the ice. Also, I am getting some severe lag. Like, welding oh. is very delayed and very slow. I might have to quickly restart my game in a moment. Oh, that's irritating. We also and have if a slightly... possible, could you try that as well? Uh, restart again. Yeah, like a full game restart. Oh yeah, sure. Just in case. We can give it a go. Because if I have to play like that, it's gonna be like Pain. slow shadow is even slower. Uh, right. Save for exiting. I'm guessing the unknown signal is inside the planet. It's my guess. I will um, probably go and delete it once we get back in. Hmm. I love how quickly Space Engineers exits, because it doesn't actually exit itself properly. It lets things just decay in RAM. Sure. Something like that. Basically, it um, it doesn't kill its process properly. <gasps> you still have intros? Yeah, I never set up the launch parameters again. You mean, minus skip intro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I do when I reinstall Windows. I hear the music once and I'm like, nope, exit, minus skip intro, back in. I mean, I have to wait on you to start the game anyhow, so I thought like, oh, why not? <sighs> Fair enough. And yeah, the intro is not too bad. It, it is a good just Space loud. Engineers intro. That is true. But luckily, I do have a limiter on my audios, so. 
Oh well, on stream side at least. Also, are you in already no, or? I'm in. Ah. Where is that unknown signal? Oh yeah, there's definitely one inside the planet. I should get rid of it. Waiting for Surfer to respond. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> RV stands for Recreational Vehicle. Uh, basically... Caravan truck disconnected. Yeah, um, something errored. Not oh, surf was not responding. Hmm. Did you do anything to your internet? No. Did I do something to my internet? Oh. No. <laughs> Just quickly had to check uh, if I was actually on Ethernet. Ah. Yes. That old chestnut. Yeah, I still have a dodgy cable. Still haven't bothered to fix it. I there's so much I want to do in this room, but only just now getting around to doing them. It's it. To be fair, it is hard to. I always found it hard to do much. Uh oh. I'm beginning to wonder whether we shouldn't have restarted the game. Um. Is my internet hung over? No. I still might be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend's wedding on the weekend where I was best man. So, yeah. Stream is fine. Yeah, I'm not getting any errors on my OBS, so I'm... Wait. Is Steam doing a thing? Steam's not doing a thing, is it? No, Steam says connected. Hmm. Wait, but is Steam, yeah, I'm still is Steam doing an up, like downloading an update for you? Uh, no, it only has an update queued. I turned oh. off automatic updates. Ah, good. And the only oh. update that's here is for Cosmo Tier. All right, let me restart this save again. See if you can join. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, I think my speech went reasonably well. It was a tough. It was a tough environment in which to give a speech actually because everybody gave really good speeches <laughs> um that is why you always want to go first when it comes to a speech yeah but the best man if goes you're not last confident about some... yeah okay fair that the, the best man goes last so we had um mother of the bride mother of the groom father of the groom then, and all three of them were really good, especially Mother of the Groom. Um, hearing my best mate's mum make fun of him was great value. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just all of the speeches were good. And I'm like, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> I wanted someone to vomit. So that I could look better by comparison. <laughs> wow, rooting for somebody else who fell. <laughs> Not anyone in particular, At just somebody. Wedding. Come on. <laughs> no, Capac did not get married. I. Uh, my friend who got married, we've been friends since we were five years old. A whole seven years before I even met Capac. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, I have a number of very long-term friends. And you're the oh, no. Space engineers, why? No, wait, no, don't. Nah, stop. <laughs> I almost loaded a single-player world. Mm. But it, it, it's an interesting thing being nervous to give a speech in that environment when I do this every single week. Mm-hmm. It is not your stage. It's true. That is probably a big part of it.
Yeah, Fleshcrafter, I was tempted at the start of the speech to make a point of how good everyone else's speeches were and could they have just at least one of you sucked so that I could look better? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Stuff is happening. Yay. I'm connecting. It only took like how if many you tries? Fail, just try, 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 try again. I wasn't sure. You forgot to try again. Yeah, like. Personally, whenever I have to do a speech or presentation, I'm like, I, I need to go first. I need to set the bar low. If it's a high bar, I'm just gonna walk under it. Like, it... it no. <laughs> I Have you had to give many speeches at uni since starting streaming more often? No, maybe not necessarily speeches. Like, no formal speeches, but... I, what? Oh... Uh, what? This is not what I joined. Why are you dead? What? Why is the game paused? Shadow, did you actually join my game? I'm pretty certain, yeah. Because you're not online in my game. What? The... Huh? What <laughs> did the, you join? I... Wait. Did you join I, your I old think server? Happened... No, because that one is offline. Well, I think what happened is that I created a ghost instance of your server on my own. How? What? <laughs> what have you done? Ah, because my continue game was actually my never surrender. Uh huh. Which is the one I had to continue into. And the only person in my Steam list that is currently playing Space Engineers as well is Core. And oh, well, it does say join game, but I'm pretty sure Core might not be playing. Aries and Bar. Well, I wouldn't know why it would say game paused. And if I did accidentally join you, Core, my apologies. <laughs> uh, right. uh, Hi, Ron. But whatever happened, I'm joining again, so. Good, good. I, uh, I don't know what is happening. Regarding your question, I did have to do some presentations, hmm. which have gone way better since yeah. streaming. That's awesome. I that is I'm really happy to hear that. Cause I so I think like I've never had to do any super formal Well, actually I have had to do some somewhat formal presentations at work since uh starting doing this seriously uh like when i was uh, still working in the hospital i had to do a bunch of stuff that seems normal <laughs> shadow watches all the wheels pop into existence and then eventually the platform you're standing on so it stops dropping you is this what it feels like to create a universe <laughs> probably but yeah, I I did do a sort of, I guess you could almost call it a performance speech at a, an education evening, um, where since I've, since I started doing this more and that particular speech went exceptionally well and is in, almost entirely down to doing this stuff. Because it was just... Nice. Yeah, I, like I did it in that, can't think of a better way to describe this, but the TED Talk style where you do not have any writing at all Energy on your slides. Your not even a singular in, word? Not a singular word. It was all pictures. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Ow. Which meant oh, I, could, this is awkward. I could use some fun pictures to remind me of what I was about to talk about, though. Because, you know, healthcare. 
Yeah. Oh, you're down in the hole. So, um, yeah, accidentally. Good job. Thanks. I do my best. Uh, I wasn't going to automate the drill just because I'm lazy. And that... I probably don't need it to be. <laughs> that does not mean lazy. Uh, it the does when automation here takes would be more to work automate than... the drill. No, only if it's easier. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, how do we get out of here? There's a ladder. So how do I get out of here? You go over to the ladder, you jump up and you grab it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> a bit hard to do with lag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. Thanks, Horrible Barry. Thank you for the prep sub. Uh, what did he do it? to you? Why what? are you calling him horrible? Horrible Barry calls themselves horrible. Mm. It's like a title. Sure. It's not a descriptor. Sure. At least that's the way I take it. Uh, where is Splitsy Surfer located? Um, wherever he lives. Because he's locally hosting us. Yep, because trying to run this on a server was not working well for us. Why do we not use spam minus scripts? Because we're not that far. Uh, because power. That as well. And because this is super more efficient than using that. Why have why have all this stone and ice be carried with atmospheric thrusters burning power when we can just have pistons do it? Indeed. Also, Spitz, quick question. Yeah. What is our current goal? Ah. Beyond getting ice. So we were getting ice so that we could have fuel so that we could leave. How soon do we want to do that? Well, we we need to get some more resources into this refinery and whatnot because using stone to refine to make stuff in areas of war sucks more than survival impossible or at least wow. it feels that way because of the also needing more resources for the components thing so it's like doubling yeah. down on the evil three um, times less efficient and three times more expensive yeah so nine times worse sure um so, what I was intending to do was make it so that we can get the resources off the truck, go out, collect some more uh, iron, certainly, and then hopefully build ourselves some sort of lifting rig to take the whole truck with us over to Agaris. Or Agaris. Or Agaris. Or wherever you I want to put the Agaris. emphasis on whichever syllable you choose. <laughs> what? Ah, oh. Wow, I, uh, okay. I'm seeing ghosts. Okay, so does that all make sense? Sure. So we just need to get iron and then we can get building. In the meantime, uh, yeah, we just stone drilling. Probably a bit more um, power. So I might sort out a bit more do power. We so, do we want to make a hydrogen tank on the base so we can start producing a little bit of hydrogen in the meantime? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. That is a very good idea. Um, but, given how slow it is to get iron from stone, you may want to focus on getting the iron first. Because otherwise okay. making the all the pipes is just going to take so long. Because um, remember, collectors? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. and I did find a crashed ship. Oh. Uh, that's why we have metal grids. Ow. Ah, ah, no. Ah, me. Ooh. Uh, so I found another crashed ship identical to the first one we found. I uh, well named done. the GPS all the grids. <laughs> Wait, you mean as that big one? Yep, exactly the same wreck. 
So, something that I did hear from people is that we might want to pay a little bit more attention to what exactly is in that wreckage. Why? There might be a lot of hydrogen in there. Yeah. But we've already got the ice, so... Eh. Seems easier than well, digging it out. still... Like, if we hadn't, if I hadn't already set up this thing, sure, but we have, so... Also, where are you, where are you planning on putting these collectors? I don't have a plan yet. Okay, so I'll start planning it. What are you doing? I am currently renaming the base cargo, so it's more... I see. I was going to say more easy to drop stuff off, but that's no good English proper do. I like it. Yeah, I'm currently waiting on my batteries to charge so I can go and probably get a little bit more iron ore. Yep. Well, if we can get the truck offloaded, then we can get a lot more iron ore because we can get the iron ore out of the truck e easier and you can load it up when we go to the iron deposit. Yep, but that still requires more power. Yes. Oh, so you're going to build more turbines. Uh, I feel like that is not a question, but rather an order. <laughs> no? But yeah, I... You might I have had another that. idea that might work too. A uh, giant spinny solar panel. I mean, if you want to. It worked pretty well at the other base. You weren't expecting that response, way. No. <laughs> I, I was fully expecting something else, but... Oh, hold up. What are you doing? Making oh, I see what you're doing. But I forgot the collectors don't have an attachment. The sides. Oh, wait, are they sides? Sides. Where's my collector connected? Where's my thing on my hopper? Nope, they're only on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Yep. <sighs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, deeper I go. Am I going to drop crew into them? Mining recall. Am I set? I do not know. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Let's just pretend What's that hole doesn't on? exist. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't work. Also, Fufan, to answer your question, um, I think the reason why Splitzy is not using the BAM scripts is because he prefers engineering. Yeah, generally. Or... I'm, I'm not a big, like, it's like, why don't I use X mod? Usually because it takes away something in the game that I like. It dumps stuff down. Although I do have to agree with using Pam on Ares at War, but that's solely because of the logistics being an issue. Where that is yet another challenge you have to overcome because, yeah, you can make a drill rig, but... You can also make an outpost and use two miners. Uh, or shuttle. we can make a drill rig and then use the vanilla drones to transport <laughs> all back to the main thing, which is what we in originally intended to do. Yeah. I mean, I am all for it, but I'm also all for it, like, if it bugs out the AI script, that is, or AI script, the AI blocks, then I will switch to Pam in my single player. I did at least. Yeah, that's because fair. Because I did give it a genuine go and I just got the wiggle of death. Ah, uh, well, we'll have to see if I can do it better, more stably, given all of the ridiculous testing I had to do to try and do a tutorial on it. There's I a hope chance so. I might be able to get it to work reliably. Because I was unable to. Also, where should I place the solar panel? Do you have any preference? 
Can I build it on top of the hole? Uh, I mean, the downside of that is if you fall while making it, you fall in the hole. Yeah. Oh, I'm all up for this downside, so go for it. Thanks to Fraggle, and thank you for your caddy. Thank you for the prime subs. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh! Get excited and a storm comes up. Come on, game. Uh, Tommaso, they haven't gotten rid of chair inertia tents around pistons. Uh, I... there are bug instances that don't have it, but generally it should be there. Have they brought back that bug? I haven't seen that bug in, like, about 18 months. I haven't seen it in a long time as well, but I think people are still having issues with it from time to time. Weird. Because yeah, on my end, they, they've, that bug, I considered it fixed because it's been so long since I had a problem with it. Yeah, same, but never know. Assembler not assembling. Oh, wait, I know. Hang on. Did you turn it off? Right now? Yeah. What What did you do? I still have my miner on recharge because I wanted to get some extra power. Oh! <laughs> I'm like... Yep. So you were... Wow, I... Hmm. I'm surprised that the recharge battery took priority there. It always does. I guess I've always had another battery it was stealing from, which I guess is run dry. The one that I built. Did I build one? I did build one. I did build one. Did you build one? I did, yes. It is empty, pretty much. What? Why did it not place? Him! That is a question I ask myself every single day. I'm so confused. Some weird, some weird things are happening with resources. I think you might be using the same stuff I am, for some of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm just waiting for construction components and interior plates right now, so... Yep, we were definitely using some of the same parts. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna have to build um, something weird to get this offload system to work. Which makes me think I should just put a back mounted connector on the truck. Yeah, let's just go back mounted connector. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. This is gonna work this way. I was gonna do small grid collectors. That Wait, seems what? a mistake. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would love to see you try. Yeah. Because that would mean you could make an intricate system to cover up the collectors and then well, make it a drivable road. I was just thinking of having to move in and out of position. So the truck drives up and then they insert themselves underneath and then they pull themselves back. Oh, what the heck, I'll do it. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like fun. Also, that welder suits you perfectly. I love that color on you. I, I mean, the good thing about the gray <laughs> is that any bright colors tend to look good against it. I love the bright pink. I make I make the bright colors look better. Oh, this poor gravel. I want to push it over. Uh, Wait. Uh, that's Wait a minute. 
Let's see. You made a staircase. Huh. Cool. I mean, yes, I did that on purpose. Uh huh. Also, I need to add some safety here. This oh. is getting dangerous. Oh, okay. Um, small grid collectors are big. I got that. Uh, I'm have to see if this clears the ground. It does not. That is annoying. Let's Wait go. a minute. Pretty much. Uh, we, no, we'll only be oh. offloading small, like, ores and whatnot. So I should be able to do this. Put that there. And I can go like that to lift it up one block. There are so many panel options, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad they added the round ones though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were sorely Definitely. needed for certain, for making any use of the round blocks. There we go. Uh, no flesh crafter. I, the reason I couldn't do them at the same, at the original height is that they would interact with the voxels. So that's why I had to move them up one block, one small grid block. Vastly over engineering something? Why on earth would I do that in space engineers? Doesn't sound like me. I mean, that's what makes it fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Actually, you're right. Maybe a hey, piston would be better than this hinge. And I can just use the hinge as a conversion after. I'll see how far this. I'll see if the hinge gets out of the way enough first. I'm on the wrong side to get access to. Cut. out of the way. Let's get the truck. Mm -hmm. What are you coming? Oh, just considering how to do what I'm doing. Oh, breaking my legs and falling in the hole and then being drilled. Oh yeah, predictions. You don't care so much about my well-being, huh? I do. I always want to know whether your well-being is <laughs> intact or not. For the sake of chats gambling, I see how it is. <laughs> uh, and remember, this one, uh, while while we're in the first stream of today, it carries over to the next one, so you can pick on TFE and Catback as well. I and mean, remember, you can pick I'm starting to feel well. a little bit evil as well. Yeah, murder doesn't count. Oh. Only manslaughter. Ooh. It has to be an accident. You've got to make sure it looks like an accident. I like dropping a block on you and then being very surprised that it actually killed you. Uh, well, I mean, now that I've already done that, I think I've taken that one out of play. Ah, uh, fair. <laughs> that is one sad hinge. Uh, also, it did kind of scare me because I ground away a block and then suddenly the block on the hinge fell down.
It's a little bit um, worrisome. I think I might have to go up piston. I don't think I can get this to go underneath while also getting out of the way. This one would look neater too. Can I? I'm having trouble selecting my welder. Oh, there we go. Weird. Yeah, there is some interesting desync going on. And yet, still more stable than Ark. For you, yeah. Yeah. Uh. So can I photo myself dying next? Does that count? Uh, well, because you're Dutch, yes, you can. What does me being Dutch have to do with anything? Uh, it has everything to do with everything in this instance, because you being Dutch means you can't put points on it, so you can vote for whatever you like. Yeah, but I still get the... Yeah, okay, no, I see what you mean now. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but I... When I die, albeit accidentally, I still get the satisfaction of winning a vote, so yeah. I see this as an absolute win. Yeah. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just... Oh, can I put that at the next block up? I don't think I can. That'll be too high. Uh... Hmm. I do want to use a large also... piston. Sorry? We have a lot of stone. We might want to set up some more refineries if possible. Yeah, yeah, we probably should. Um, I want to... I I can work on that as soon as I've done with this thing. Okay. okay. Yep. Because I presume you're going to keep working on that solar array. Yep, I'm working on it right now. Just making sure I have the clearance with my current layout. So if you hear yep. a clang, um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Sure. I won't worry at all. Now we got ah. power for the refinery. <laughs> the refinery's uh, running. Is yeah, just no, slow. that's that is not gonna work. Okay. Um. I mean, the reason why we're here is to get hydrogen, and I don't think burning our hydrogen to get power to get more hydrogen would be very beneficial. Yeah, it's it's kind of a mixed bag, that one, for us. Yeah. It might be worth doing, but it also is what Shadow's doing, I think, Shadow finds fun. Yeah. So, that makes it worth doing. If... If Shadow and I did everything in the most practical way possible, we'd have nothing to do. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm all for doing things the stupid way. Can I please select my welder? Thank you! <laughs> oh, my character is more lazy than I am. Don't think lazy would be the first word to come to mind when I'm describing you, Shadow. Hmm. Probably not even the fifth word. Probably not even a word. You're not really a lazy kind of person. Then you don't know me well. Uh... I don't know. You just... You're often very energetic, which to me does not really fit with lazy. So, most people balance it a bit more, whereas I have very long periods of being lazy, and then also energetic. I balance those two. Right. Uh, let's extend the piston. Uh. Cat pack on the other hand, exactly. <laughs> Cat pack. Ah. Could... It, lazy would definitely be one of the first few words. 
Okay. <laughs> I almost had to ask you to grind me out of the couch. Oh. Okay, that does make you sound lazy. <laughs> See? Oh, dear. I mean, there is that definition of lazy that talks about efficiency, as in someone who is very efficient is lazy. But, so there's another, there's another way to look at this, which is, if we were really lazy, we would do things the quickest way possible, because then we would run out of, well, I, but then that would run us out of entertainment to, like, to play, for playing the game, which would then make us have to come up with more work to come up with then would take more work to come up with other ideas of how to make Space Engineers interesting to play. So actually doing things convolutedly and unnecessarily difficult, you know, in unnecessarily difficult ways is actually the most lazy way to do it. Yep. Because what we don't have to keep coming up with ideas of what to do next. Exactly, Jack. Paradoxical laziness. Uh, is there more iron on the truck than? Yes. Building the wrong things in the wrong places. Oh, Running why? them down is hard. Why would you do oh, that? Go. No! Ah! <laughs> Game, what are you doing? <laughs> do you want me to stop you spinning? No, it, I actually want to stay spinning so I know I can continue building and I don't accidentally uh, uh, hit the wind okay. turbine. Th this is intentional. Do you want me to <laughs> remove that wind turbine? Or slash move it? Probably. I will. I will move. I mean, I need to get off of here anyway, so. I'll... Oh, you can move it if you want. Yeah. Just, just you this know. This is my stop anyway. Extend out the one of the other bits off to the side or further along, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'll focus on the solar array first, so that's functional, and then I'll do oh, some more wind turbines. We may want that power though. Ah, yes, that little few. No, I. I... It, yeah, no, actually. I yeah. was gonna say, like, oh, we don't get any power anyway, but it was one of four wind turbines, so it is yeah. quite significant. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Just, just a tad. So one of the reasons we've got collectors here and ejectors was because we decided to do things that way for no good reason. Um, and so that's how we're going to continue doing it. For anyone wondering why the heck I'm messing around with collectors and stuff, it's because we never do. And Shadow and I decided that because we never do these things, we should do this thing this time. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! You in the hole? What? No, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hi! Oh. Hi? Why, why fence? Because I... Because it's hard to get on the stairs sometimes. 
<laughs> Did you fall in the, the hole? No. Well, I almost did one time. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. And like you said, I'm doing things I've never done before. <laughs> huh? The only uh. way to live. The only way to live. Mm. Do the new. Okay, so it is a little bit hard to build at times because it just doesn't register my clicks or it's very delayed and there's no way to tell which one it is going to be. Yeah. It's fluctuating a lot. What was it that went wrong with the server you'd set up? I can't remember anymore. Uh, unable to connect again. Oh, right. Neither is quick. Says it had started and yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could try and... S set it up on my server, which might make things at least a little bit better for you. That would be nice. Because this is a little bit atrocious. Yeah. I mean, it won't be perfect, because it's still in Sydney, but it's uh, in Sydney on a server that has uh, symmetrical gigabit and is not also streaming at the same time. Yeah, it will also mean it's more stable. Because right now I can build just fine, but now it's very delayed again. And now it's fine again. Uh, it's weird. Uh, the joys of playing transcontinental games. You mean transglobal? I mean, what I said is still true. the signal goes through multiple continents. Because <laughs> I presume our signal is going via Asia. From Europe to Asia to Australia. Okay, I collect this build. Uh, could I request your help for a moment? Ah, uh, one sec. Uh, very shortly you can. Can I get out of the seat? Help. Hey, help. Oh, there we go. Energy oh. low. Do you need my help anymore? No. Well, yeah, I do still, but I also had to try and get out of the miner's seat. Uh, just the group. Ejectors. I'm not exactly sure what the problem was with the server host, but I feel like it was related to the server host itself and not as much the server, because I haven't had those issues with another server. I was hosting you with a different host. Yep. He's full. They're full. Uh oh. Yeah, that is also not helping the lag. <laughs> Actually, this is a perfect example of how my lag works. Because I just look at the connectors and sometimes it's plunk, plunk, and then it's plunk. Plunk, 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 plunk. Oh yeah, it'd help if I did these two. <laughs> uh... You did... You did not weld up those two back connectors... Oh, connectors? Bayers. Nope, now I did. Ah. <sighs> I also probably don't want to offload the ice, but no, oh, too late. Alright, so what do you need to help with? I need you to fly this miner to the new burn to burn so I can weld it up. The new what? Wind turbine. Oh. Oh, we're doing it that way. Okay. Yeah. Teamwork! I am your welder. Standing on your drill. A little bit closer. Yep. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Uh, to answer the question in chat, uh, I don't believe there's any difference in output between the two wind turbine types. 
Uh, one is just enormous and one is not. Uh, I suppose I should like the one. That would be nice, yes. Thank you. So go fuck this thing. I wasn't going to click the drill. I mean, I was tempted, but I wasn't going to do it. Right. What? You're telling me you wouldn't have been tempted? Oh, I would have, and I would have done it. <laughs> Good to know. Whoops. What? Whoops. I built a solo panel on top of the solo panel, so now there's a solo panel in the hole. I see. Yep. Will I deal with the solo panel in the hole? Uh, I'll deal with it momentarily. That's alright, I got it. I was down here. Save you having to go up and down the stairs. Oh, oh, I'm in the hole anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have. Ow! Seen that coming. Oh, I. Oh. I don't know what is happening anymore. There's lights coming out of my horns. I fell down the ladder after hovering up the ladder. I. Uh, I'm so confused. You're at the top of the ladder. Uh oh. Uh oh. I am now. Oh, I fell in the hole. Uh, are our cargo containers full? Probably. No, they're actually relatively close. I won't extend the distance. Okay, I'm attempting to get a battery on the base so that then I can build another refinery on the base and we can hopefully get some resources a little bit more quickly. Okay. Uh, and also to have more batteries for your power Ooh. from the solar panels that will hopefully be... Oh, do you want me to weld up those solar panels while you're placing them so that we can get power as uh... soon as the sun comes up? Yeah, sure. I need some more steel plate to build more, but... Well, it won't take much longer before these power cells are built. And I'll order some more bits. Yeah, solar panel... Six, seven, eight, something like that. Will do. I love how when I look at the base, it's it is just called Caravan. The base is called Caravan. Apparently so. Like that is the name of this grid. Uh, the grid is called Static Grid Eight Six Four Six. It's called Caravan on my end. Interesting. Oh well, the access point is called Caravan. The name is like that, but on the top left it does show current grid as Caravan. Huh, it does too. What? What? Oh! It's taking the name from the, the caravan. Weird. It, it must have the most blocks or something. It's a small grid. It may, actually, it may actually have more blocks than anything here. Interesting. Whee! <laughs> okay, time to turn the ejectors back on now that collector's actually working. Get all the iron and nickel and other nonsense out of here. That means I need to reconnect this cargo container up. Oh. Is the ejector... There's the GC drone uh, nearby. 
Yeah. It keeps coming around and saying no signs of remnant activity. And then goes away. What are you scavengers? I'll show you a scavenger. Uh, yeah, Brandano, it would be really awesome if there was some way to have a grid name property added to merge blocks so when the merge blocks disconnect, they give the grid a specific name. That would actually be really, really cool. And would potentially solve a lot of problems. Ooh, hey. Now the question is, do we use vanilla solar routers, or do we use scripted solar road, oh, solar routers, a uh, solar array? Sorry. Whichever you want. Uh, I think vanilla I is probably better again. in terms of performance. Is that something we really care about? It is when your lag being this bad. Or... Yeah, fair. That means I need to do a funky maneuver with the hinge. Yeah, probably need to add some more O2H2 gems up front here for my engines. Trying to make sure the truck has some power. Uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff being made. Stone to the back of the queue, iron to the front of the queue. Um. Go after iron. Let's. Could you help me out for a moment? Yeah, probably. Uh, my solar hinge is not reversing. Oh. I have it, it's at minus 90 right now, velocity 1, and it's not changing. Yeah, so when that happens, change your lower limit to minus 89. What? Because it usually means that the hinge has gone beyond its limit. Ah. And it's not going to get past the rotor, so let me just quickly remove these two. Oh, did it somehow flick through? What do you mean flick through? Oh, did you have it the... Uh, uh, were you planning on having it the other way and then you realised because now you need a camera, you need to bring it this side? Yep. Ah, makes sense. The solar panel on the truck. I do have solar panels on the truck. Look, there's two right there. That's probably the only reason the truck hasn't run out of power. <laughs> And even if it did, it would have regained some power. Well, I'm gonna increase the um, hydrogen generating capacity on the truck so that I can put more ice on the truck and then hopefully have it charge up its own batteries. A bit more. <laughs> yes. Come on, Shadow. No. Uh, I almost got hit uh, in the backside by the solar panels. <laughs> Getting smacked on the backside by the solar panels. Perfect. Are you being naughty? I didn't think I was. So am I overcomplicating these solar panels? Yes. 
I don't care. I'm having fun. Oh yeah, I'm meant to be welding them up for you, but I'm kind of I'm waiting on the components. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it just would be good to get them before dawn. Sunrise. How much going silicon? Oh yeah, we've got almost three grand. Where do you usually place a camera when it comes to the solar panels? Like, do you build it on, on the, the base, middle, or Doesn't matter. Top? Uh, the sun is infinitely distant, so the rays are perfectly straight, so it doesn't matter where along that it is, and it'll, it'll still be the same. Walter? Is going to rise soon. Let's grab some ice. Injectors, pour up the sand. Probably put a sorter somewhere so that I can push ice, like keep ice away from the rest of this rig. It doesn't get ejected. Oh well, at least it doesn't get ejected from the O2H2 gens. Yeah, I, th I was thinking a sorter at the front container would probably make a lot of sense for where to put a sorter to keep that like front container full of ice or something. But I guess the other thing to do would be just have tanks. If I have hydrogen tanks, then it doesn't matter anyway. Because hydrogen tanks will solve the problem regardless. Indeed. So if I add these extra O2H2 gens and then fit in as many small hydrogen tanks as I can around that front end, uh, I should have a backup supply without having all the extra mass of the ice. What were you going to say, Shadow? Uh, I just said indeed. Ah. Right. Also, the sun is rising. On my end, I lost. What was wrong? What did I do? The sun is rising. <gasps> Have we actually got some solar cells? Oh, we actually do. Hooray. Can I actually set up a custom turret, turret controller? Custom, custom current controller. Yeah. Custom carrot controller? Yes. Uh, CTC Solar. I mean, again, on brand for Dutch. We do have you guys to thank the parents. You are very welcome. <laughs> I suppose. Not a carrot fan, huh? Eh, not a fan, not a hater. Just indifferent about carrots. <laughs> It's hard for me to get up there! <laughs> Why do you like this? I don't know. Havoc made me this way. It's his fault. Hashtag blame Spitzy. Oh, it's Havoc's fault. You wish. I just wish I was saying this about three hours from now so that he might have dropped in as I was saying it. <laughs> More fun when he hears it. Um, I think Shadow is of the persuasion where she prefers a base that does give you lots of warnings when things are going wrong. I'm of the, oh, something has gone wrong. Let's have some fun fixing it. Um, persuasion though. Uh, depends what game and what goal a base has. Oh, well, that's fair. I guess hey, I'm If the somewhat. goal is to expand the base more and more as time goes on, yes, I would like to set up a system that throws you an error whenever something goes wrong. But if it's like a temporary base like this, and I'm like, yeah, no, it's fun to fix. 
And what if it's stationers? Depends how delicate a system is. If That's it is a system that will not explode upon critical failure, I don't care about a warning. If it's all of your plants dying, please throw an error. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's all fair too. Very situational. Yeah. Why? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I just wobbled off the controller. I don't know what it's doing though, but. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know, it's drunk. <laughs> this is not me doing anything. You wanted a vanilla rotor. Have you set it to always aim at sun, or shall I do that? It has been set to always aim at sun. Not according to what I'm saying. I did get that checkbox. I just hit it as well. Really, where the sun's coming up? Oh, yeah, it is. I guess we'll see. That's gonna make it very difficult welding up the rest of them. It'll be fine. I. Burger. Burger, burger indeed. Um, can you. I could actually. Can go you see for if you can burger. make a capacity to get up there or if you unset the thing? Because we actually do have most of the solid yeah, cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll turn it off. Oh, actually, no, we don't. How many panels have we got on that side? So it's eight per side. Uh, we'll build a cherry picker of sorts when we get to Agaris. And I'm just going to try and say agar Agaris differently each time I say it. I'm going to see if I can remember to say Agaris differently every single time. I commend your efforts. <laughs> it's going to be hard to remember which one I said last. So I'm definitely going to get it wrong. I'm expecting you to. Uh, but as long as I get it wrong in a somewhat random fashion, it's fine. I should probably help weld up some stuff. Oh, yep, there's. Wait, no, hang on, I can be more like useful. Well, that feels kind of wrong because it's not a double S. But, uh, Agaris? I... Yeah, Agaris. Agaris. Angry Chris? Angry Chris works as well. Oh, Angry Chris. Oh. Except that, that feels weird because I'm not British and we don't use crisp as a descriptor for something, as in a <laughs> type of a thing. Okay, how's this? Uh, oh, you painted them pink. <laughs> I was about to say, like, is it that? It Hard looks like they're lit with a pink light, rather than being pink. What? Yeah, because of the spotlight from the the mining ship. I my initial <laughs> reaction to it was that they were not painted pink, but lit by pink light. Yeah, it's cherry blossom. He's a good descriptor of this yeah. color. So. If I had a bit more freedom in my movement, I totally would make this look like the top of a cherry blossom tree. Okay. But, um, that's something we'll have to do once we have some mobility scooters. <laughs> oh, yes. Jax. I, I really want to say that out loud, but I don't think that's a good idea.
What, a gay Reese? <laughs> no, no. Uh. Let's call it Gary. Gary. We're going to Gary. Uh, I feel like that just reminds get... me of Final Space. I feel like there are a few double entendres there that we might want to avoid. <laughs> Given the oh. things that we do to planets. <laughs> I did not expect you to go there. I didn't go there. I said why we weren't going there. Well, still. Why is the iron getting to the thing? There's iron. Why isn't the oh, iron dear, going to the assembler? Oh dear, Oh dear. Out of silicon. What do we actually need for? We are out of silicon. Did we find we found I, um, many oh. silicon deposits, didn't we? Wait, silicon? Yeah, we're out of silicon. Are you sure? We've been constantly processing stone. How can we be out of silicon? Because oh, yeah, we are too. <laughs> it's because we are hated. Uh Arthur hates us. Well, it's not that I'm surprised that we ran out of silicon. It's that I'm surprised that we ran out of silicon before properly running out of nickel and iron. Well, because we properly like mined those, those two. three resources. Yeah, okay, fair. We didn't properly uh, mine let silicon. Let me check. Um, so I guess silicon. if you reset up the um, the solar panels, we can get going because we've I've emptied the truck. Uh, one moment, please. Please hold. Please hold for Shadow's brain. That's exactly what I was thinking as well. <laughs> Whoa! It is very sudden with its movements. Yeah, I've cranked it to, um... I mean, they're rotors, so it's not Yoda Newtons, but it's, um... A Giga Newton. I need more safety here. It also means if it's going to run into something, it's going to kill it. Or itself. Or both! Either way, Blamo. Yeah. I mean, we could make it move slowly, but powerfully, rather than just powerfully. True, true. Oh, wow. It's processing the ice quickly. I don't know where my batteries are going. There we go, I'm ready to go. Oh, Shadow, could you do me a favor? Can you quickly hop back to the base and fill up your large cargo with ice and then pop back over? <sighs> I suppose I can. Awesome. Well, it'll mean I'll have potentially power for you to steal from the truck. Slash get charged while we're driving along. Wait, I said the caravan to always shoot the sun? No, I didn't. Because that is not pointing at the sun. And also there's no camera on it. Oh, that would be hilarious. But no, it's not <laughs> pointing at the sun. It's pointing the opposite direction to the solar panels. Okay. I'm going to retract the unloading piston. Okay, ice has been loaded, and as... Wait, do you actually have a silicon deposit? No, do you? Yes. Okay. Direct me where to go! Uh... Please reference your GPS. Oh, but we've got compass bearings. I mean, go southwest. Southwest. Done. I was hoping to quickly go to the bathroom as we travel. That's Although okay. it's we only 2.18 kilometers. I shall be back soon. Okay. Don't roll.
No, I'm not going to copy paste the truck upside down just to surprise Shadow. Because Shadow keeps listening to me <laughs> through the power of wireless headphones. <laughs> so I can't do sneaky things when she disappears. Also, there's a deposit over this way to the left, so I'm going to go check it out. Also, batteries. How are the batteries looking? Storm power, 187 kilowatts. Not terrible, not great. I mean, if I didn't narrate my actions, <laughs> that would feel very strange. It'd feel like watching a... Well, here's time to throw some shade. It'd feel like watching a Capac stream sometimes, when he gets into uber focus mode. That's just not me. What is underneath the ground over here? Silicon. Ah, perfect. Thanks for the prime sub, Ton Rider fanboy. Now I picture Splitsy narrating his life much to the annoyance of his partner and Charlie. What are you talking about? Charlie loves my narration. She would never be upset by, narr by my narration. It's her favourite thing ever. Other than our power considerations, I'm not sure why we drove here rather than um, Shadow just flying <laughs> straight from the base. are probably also full, so I should try and sneak a few more tanks in here. We go back. More tanks, more engines, more power, more good. Um, let's not comment on my partner's opinions of my um, sometimes incessant yammering. Okay, I'm back. Excellent. And We're yes, I shall again. hydrate. And for some reason, I'm mining some of it with my hands. Inventory full. Oh, no, what? Point. How are you mining it with your hands? Um, well, I use my hands, I put this thing called a drill in my hands, and then I mine the ground. I should not have asked. I think I've offloaded your vehicle from of its ice. Thank you, good. Yep, you did. Also, I should not be flying this thing. Could you please do the mining business with the miner? I'm getting a lag with this as well, and I'd rather not fly a heavy oh, vehicle. That sucks. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Whoa! Also, this doesn't like being slightly forward, does it? Not really. It is a very crude miner. Which is usually what my first miner design is. <laughs> it's- I'm also finding it tricky, um, using the- the new flat modes. And actually utilizing them in a way that is helpful. Like, I find that I'm... I find that I'm not putting enough of them on. That much thrust. I haven't got 
it hasn't like um entered my consciousness properly that they are a, exactly a third as powerful and i haven't quite read like put it got in my head where the big ones fit in for that yeah it's a weird one that's for sure oh i think i may have overfilled yep i'm already offloading from you just that it's going faster anyway because that means you just hover there for a bit longer as i help ferry some resources i then don't have to mind work smarter not harder Oh. Fine. Damn this off. Help, Barry. Oh dear. And like I said, very crude miner. Room for a lot of improvements. <laughs> yep. I mean, it still makes an easy path for the two of us to handline, effectively. <laughs> Yeah. So we can get past each other. I mean, basically, we are just the conveyors between the mm -hmm. ship and the cargo. Uh, might be able to take off now. That's probably enough silicon for now. Um, we can go grab Great some more. words. Iron, I guess. Oh, wow. Ow! Ah! Connector in my face! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Also, I would recommend turning around, yeah. Okay. Oop. Okay. Connected. Delivered. Although I haven't offloaded, I probably should. Uh, it'll be fine. I'll we'll do can it. offload when we get to the next deposit. Or Shadow can do it while we're on the move. Uh, shall we go iron next, I guess? Because we've still got tons of yeah, nickel sure. back at base. Clunk, 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 clunk. So much clunk. Yep, it's Charlie. the noise of our industry. Stop chewing your foot. It has gotten more irritated since you were at the kennel. Oh. There you go. Lick my foot instead. Sure. That's fine. Oh. I'm sure it tastes wonderful to a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, none of the the uh, sprays that are meant to make a dog not lick things work for Charlie. Ah. I feel like we need to we make her foot taste, taste but... like bread, and then maybe she'll stop licking it. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, she's Does she real... just not like bread? Well, she's really weird about bread. I think it's a texture thing. Because if I give her a big enough pieces of bread, a big enough piece of bread, she'll bite into it, spit it out, and then throw it around like she's trying to kill it. Like it's done something to offend her. <laughs> this... Red offense my entire generation. Um, why didn't I paint this Optimus Prime colors? Because it ended up looking more like the dog truck from it, uh, Dumb and Dumber. So I stuck with, with a it. mustache. Yeah, and a mustache. And goatee. Also, I, I would love to see you wearing loaves of bread on your feet, like Chad is saying. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that would be something. Go on, Chad, I tried mine anyway. You'll be fine. Okay. Well, if this thing crashes, it's not my fault, so even though it only would be. Just be ultra cautious, do a little bit of mining, come off, come back up, offload. You'll still be quicker than me doing it by hand. True I mean, just look at me already. 
<laughs> just continuously shaking. Oh boy. Good girl, Charlie. You're not in trouble. I'm just protecting your foot with my foot, which puts me at a really awkward angle while playing on the computer. Are you playing Twister? I, I think I am, yeah. Oh, good on you. Right foot on red. Or right foot on dog. Ooh. Left Here. hand on keyboard. Right hand on mouse. You so just really don't want to play this thing, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie uh, just tried to flip herself over so she could get to her foot from the other side. <laughs> you clever, what? clever dog. And oh my god, that tickles so much, dog. Stop. <laughs> it's not cool. Ah. Get him, Charlie, get him! Seriously, her her bed is actually like directly behind my chair and my desk. Like if you imagine it goes desk, chair, Charlie. Inventory so I'm full. fully contorted to try and pull this off. Uh Simino, I generally for planetary mining avoid having any sort of underside drills on a miner because Ore deposits in space engineers are wide and flat. So having drills on the front is much more helpful. Vertical miners are indeed not as useful. Yeah, they're just a bit awkward. Unless you use it to drill like the initial hole, so you can have your horizontal miners go in. Yeah. I guess. But then what's then the it's point? more of a you And it's not really a mining vehicle, but more of a trenching vehicle. Drilling vehicle? Yeah, trench vehicle probably a better word for it. Also, I think it's full. Oh, what? Really? I was able to. Upload. I don't see any more available cargo. It might be blind, but. Uh, yeah, there's. Unlo or is that you, the. Yeah, uh. Yeah, maybe I filled you because you were connected. Cool. All right. That's perfect. Let's head back then. Yep, sounds good. Just adding a uh, prefix to the names here, so we can more easily distinguish between them. There we go. I'm ready to go. Ah. Oh, maybe you should pet her. Maybe that's what she wants. Uh, I think the problem was she was at the kennel when it ended up being 38 degrees. Oh. Oh, poor copper. Yeah. So while she was at the kennel in 38 degrees, I was standing in a navy blue suit in full sunshine in 38 degrees. <laughs> Wow, um, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, wait, hang on, we have to stop. Why? Unknown signal is very close by. <sighs> you know you only get away with that because you aren't Capac, right? I know. I'm still enjoying it whilst I can. Because <laughs> eventually I'll just stop listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it was all worth it because I got a badger helmet. No. Do not trust me reversing a semi truck. That last part of that sentence was not necessary. <laughs> Do not trust me reversing. 
Still one word that's not necessary. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. Although it might be because of people I usually hang out with not being very trustworthy, so... I guess I'm just not very trusting of people in games. I mean, I did accidentally kill you, so, uh, you know, there's some justification there. Twice. Twice? Pretty sure you killed me twice. What was the other one? Early on. I think. What did I murderize you with? I thought the cube was early on. I think you dropped something on me? Yeah, the cube. Oh, I think there was something else. I'm fairly oh. certain there was something else. Yeah, I might have dropped something else, but it, that was that was less of a... Oops, I was only meaning to be cheeky, but I accidentally killed you, and that was more of a... Oops. Well, either way, it doesn't make me trust you more. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Even if it is accidental murder, it is still murder. No, it's manslaughter. The fact is the same. <laughs> True. I'm gonna put sorters on this thing so I don't ditch the ice. That'd be nice. Assuming that the sorters will fit. Would you like me to reverse the piston? Um, yeah, it's all good. Uh. I need to do something to that. Hang on. Well, I wanted to set up a remote control for it. But then we need an antenna on the base and an antenna on the truck and I didn't get around. I just want to make sure no, there's No, that's not room. what I mean. Not I'm not sure there mean. is. Ugh. It might be tight for me to put a solder on there. Yeah, I would not recommend it. I'm going to try anyway. That's, you know. You gotta try these things. Uh oh. Apparently, I just picked up all the bits from the solar panels I'd ordered up. Oh, you're adding googly eyes. Nice. Okay, does it fit or does it snap? Who knows? Let's find out. Let's find out quickly. Ah! Ah! This is making building a little bit more difficult. Oh, it sort of works. There we go. It's a duck. Yes. I you're gonna make it a snake. No. Reminded me more of like a goose with that neck. Uh, it's a schwan. Uh, so. Like this. Are we actually getting solar power now? Yeah, 42 kilowatts. How about wind? Oh yeah, I can drop it with the heat scanner. Yeah, good point. Thanks, chat. Good point. Oh, it's a loading dock. Rather than a loading dock. I see. 
Totally intentional. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, just as a heads up, cargo is full right now. Oh, cool. I suppose. Cargo. That's what you're telling me. Actually, we need more refineries. That's what we need. But we need that power from the solar panels, which we're getting. I suppose I could work on that. Or if you're happy with the solar panels, you can work on it. Oh, wait, are you? Are I'm you? already welding them up. Oh, have you put some silicon at the front of the queue as well? I'm doing that right now. I thought so. Figured if you've gotten most of it built, that's what happened. Although, there is no silicon being... Oh, there is no silicon in the cargo right now. Oh, I thought you said you put uh, it at the front of the queue. That is. Or is it there is no ore in the cargo. I think. Did you deposit everything already? No, I haven't deposited, deposited anything yet because you said it was full. There you go. Put some no, my in brain no do function. Oh, how are you putting silicon in front of you? Oh, that... you're manually moving yeah. silicon. Okay. <laughs> that's what you meant. Okay, I see what you mean now. Yeah, that's what I thought <laughs> you'd done. I'm not that clever. Okay. Oh. I mean, you are. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> uh, rather than building more storage, let's build more refiner. Actually, um, would you like to do a salvaging run? I mean, once we've offloaded the truck, sure. I don't know what is happening anymore. What do you mean you don't know what's happening anymore? Oh, I just tried to weld up a solar panel but didn't get the solar cell even though I specifically added the solar cell to my build planner. So I went back to get that solar cell. I jumped up onto the solar panel, I saw the solar panel was welded up, and suddenly it wasn't on the solar panel anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's... Unbelievable. And as such, I don't know what is happening anymore. Okay, we have two basic refineries. Let's have some more. I should probably just build one big one. Battery will be fully recharged in 19 hours. Woo. And 14 hours. Basically, we have double the input. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, when the assembler is running, like we... it, it's not so good. Because the assembler has yeah, two speed modules uh... on it. But yeah, we were getting an input of 500 and an output of 200, so... So what you're saying is, you want to build an even bigger solar array. Refinery first. Like a proper refinery, maybe. 
Uh, also, the solar panels are not facing the sun. Is it on? Uh -oh. Oh, oh, maybe they are. But I would have thought they'd be more upright by this point. Or are they not allowed to go more upright? Could be. A... Oh, no, they're not allowed to go more upright than ah, this. Okay. Hang on. I can fix that. Oh, I assumed it was on purpose, so it doesn't collide with stuff. Energy critical. Mm, it was, but it was mostly so, um, when going down. Going down, like. Yeah. When we were welding stuff up, it would be easier to get yep. there. But now I can set the limit to be like. Okay, I think we got minus forty. It wants to go down, so let's set limits of zero. Oh, wait, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does need a limit of 10. And uh, let's do 15. Oh, ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> no, whenever you mess with the limits and when it's below the oh, limit yeah. you're about to set, it. Goes, it, it... Yep. Yeah, it, it's scary. <laughs> yeah. Also, we have a googly-eyed sun again. No, we have a quizzical sun. If you imagine the gas giant as the other eye. Yeah, that's all done. And then we have... Hmm. These... Uh, ejectors. No, I was kind of hoping that it would be smart enough to turn around the rotor to get more sun, but... It should be. No, because the camera has to point at the sun. Oh. Uh... It can do a backward facing to the sun. So why, why would that have helped it in this situation because it does have a, like i'm pretty sure it can move a bit differently hang on no I don't know how like it's, formulated. it's doing maximally now it's pretty much vertical and it's pointing at the sun that's almost at the horizon like if it were to do a 180 it could tilt the solar panels downwards more yeah maybe but it's pretty it's pretty close to maximal i think it's fine yeah yeah speaking of power i'm about to run out i was and then i just happened to get in it huh. oh, i turned all these to throw out There we go. Now we're offloading. Squeaky bird. Yeah. Got a lot. I was woken up by kookaburras this morning. I actually oh. don't mind. I guess in woken up at 4.30. By the way. There we go. Beautiful recharging seats. We got a turret somewhere. Are you making lots of rotten meat? Yep. Alright, we have refineries dealing with stone. It is not a quiet time on the bathroom, however. <laughs> it is very loud. <laughs> uh. The bits. So finish this thing. There we go. So you wanted to go do a salvage run, huh? Yeah, like if we're waiting for iron to be processed, we might as well just get a bunch of iron salvage too. Oh. 
Well, that's not what I expected to have happen then. Is this literally what you wanted to bring this back for? I mean, it's probably the best use for it now. Huh, I can move it while you're on it. Sort of. Yeah, you're right. Just get some free steel plate. I thought I was actually bringing it back because you had some other vehicle idea for them. I did, but it's just... No. Like, it's not a distraction that's worth it anymore. Ah, yeah. Also, ow. It just fell through the ground for me. Um... Interesting. Also, nicked me with your grinder. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not intentional this time. <laughs> this time. Hey, the battery's say fully recharged in 11 hours, so we've got slight net positive energy. On the hey! Rates, even with four so, basic um, refineries running. A question. Do you by chance have any emergency batteries on this truck that you have set to recharge until you need them? Um, I don't think I do, no. I've got the solar Would panels. Would that be an idea? I mean... Like, as fun as it is for you to run out of power mid-drive, I do think it would be very handy if this is most of our stuff that we have here. I mean, it is, but we are also charging the batteries currently. Like, they've now currently, got about 25% yes. more charge than they did at the start of the stream. Uh, because of you dumping that load of ice in here. They'll run for quite the engines are gonna run for quite some time. No, actually. Uh I mean fine. I I was planning on putting more batteries in here. Do you want just like a baby battery just so that we can at least put some ice in it? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, for example. Or maybe uh like emergency braking power or emergency steering. Eight. Well, all right, all right, all right. I'll put, I'll put a couple of small batteries on so that I can at least bring it to a safe stop. <laughs> Sorry, I did not catch any of that. Um, I said, had a oh, DTS oh. thing going on. Oh, I said, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll keep it. I'll put some basic batteries, the teeny weeny little ones in there so that we can at least come to a safe stop. Thank you. Yeah, emergency power for the stereo when we're stuck on the side of the road. And Gate, thank you for the follow month resub. Thank you. Uh, the components in the rover are from times we did salvage using this truck. Um, I might need to put some method on here for dumping components out. Basically, I need to redesign the trailer at some stage, and I haven't gotten around to it yet. So uh -huh. I wanted to redesign the trailer so that it could actually pass components through had large conveyors all the way through. Uh, just haven't prioritized that over other things. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, I could leave Shadow to work might... on the base for a while and I could just work on the truck. Yeah. Because remember, also, I snapped I think the truck I know... and that kind of messed up a lot of what I was doing with it. You did what to the truck? I snapped it in half, remember? Oh. Um... Vaguely, yeah. Vaguely. I think I might know why our base is called Caravan. Because the Caravan's got the most blocks. No, because it has the antenna. Ah, yeah, of course. Yep, makes sense. Checks out. Does indeed check out. I was also thinking of making the gooseneck a bit more goosed. Lifted up another couple of small grid blocks by lifting this whole section above this rotor here. Because I think that would make it a lot safer. 
And then I could potentially put medium cargoes all the way through it. Which will give me more storage, and then we can have a whole bunch of large cargoes at the back here. But we needed to get an easy access to enough resources on this side of the mountain range, because going through the mountain range was horrible. Actually, did we end up getting any of that magnesium? And did we get any of it refined? No, we didn't. Shall we, Shadow? And we go do some um, mm -hmm. salvage and magnesium mining, perhaps? Yeah. Unless you're in the middle of something? No, I was just messing with a custom turret controller. Oh, what were you doing with? Just something silly. Something silly? Doesn't sound like yep. you. I am super serious, usually, yeah. Yeah. That's why you dress in grey and make the ones that dress bright look good. No, 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 no. That's what somebody who always crashes a rover looks like. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the truth hurts, you know. That's why it's so fun. Eternity later. Shouldn't be that bad. Probably will be, but it shouldn't be. Also, maybe retract the goose? Or the duck? Crack? That is its surname, yes. The goose quack? Very careful how you say that. Yeah. It's why I don't try. <laughs> Is it reasonable? Uh, you know what? Let's make this one eternity later. Do you want to throw shade? I'm going to make it worth it. Well, um, then I will see you there. Are you going to fly? Don't fly. Don't fly. Power. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm adding more hydrogen engines so that we can get more power. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. There I just remembered. I have two more thrusters on this thing that I have yet to weld up. Oops. Oh, yeah. Well, weld them up and I'll keep good. working on this while you do. Ah, loud. I did hear about a new game coming out from the makers of a game that has made me more angry than most games have a right to. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I did hear about the new game from Hello Games. Uh... Thanks, Pamphy. Thank you so much for 38 months. You know, there is one word in their company title that is missing. Or company title, company name. Uh, unfinished. <laughs> Hello, unfinished games. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Tommaso, it is it's so a well neat idea. Here. I'm excited to be disappointed by it. So, I, I'm genu genuine question for chat. Um, what the heck is Lego Fortnite? Oh, actually, I, saw I did a hear about that this was one. suggesting it might have been a PVE thing, which makes me think so, it's a Lego skin of what Fortnite was originally going to be. 
I'm fairly certain LEGO Fortnite is a crossover between LEGO and Fortnite. Where Thank you, Captain Obvious. I think they're current I think they're currently running an event that basically makes everything in Fortnite looks like Lego. And then also some NPCs or something like this is just stuff I've heard. I heard the word. Because if it's if it's what Fortnite was originally going to be, that actually sounds kind of cool. But Fortnite if it's... is a officially PVE. Yeah. Battle Royale is a PvP. What? How do you battle royale a PvE? Okay, so what? Fortnite itself is a PvE. Like that is how it started. It. I know. Just I know. I watched a, a video thing. of the Yogscast playing it when it was new, and I was like, "Oh, this when before it even came out." before PUBG became big. And I was like, this yeah. actually looks like it could be a fun PvE co-op game. <laughs> and then they made it PUBG. Yeah, I mean, sorry, legally distinct Royale. from PUBG. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have genuinely played the original Fortnite, and that's what made me curious about this LEGO thing. Is it what the original Fortnite was meant to be? And if it is, that's curious. Well, then I wish you luck with that, because I won't be joining Fortnite ever. Is that no a... No matter if it's PvE. Is that because of Epic? That is part of it, yes. It's just... A... It... It's some... Um... I... Yeah, I don't know. To me, what Fortnite has done is normalize microtransactions for kids' games. Oh no, wasn't that Roblox that did that? Uh, Fortnite or did was it normalize something more even more evidence. Like, yes, Roblox did have the Robux already. That is true. But that is... Same, but different. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I mean, everything I've heard about Roblox says it's worse. Because I'm fairly certain Roblox does have some parental controls set up for its systems. So, parents do have options for very small subscriptions for their children as a reward, or... I. I'm pretty sure it's moderated, and Fortnite is just like... Uh, Fortnite's just it's angry like at a Apple temporary and Google. It's a temporary skin system, which already incentivizes you to get it because it feels like a limited edition, because you know it will be gone in a month. And oh, you won't you be able like to Nintendo. get it anymore. What? False scarcity. I guess. Although I haven't really heard that of Nintendo before. Although maybe uh, it's just of a subject I don't should, remember. I think they did it with the um, Smash Brothers games. One of the Smash Brothers games, but it's in false scarcity. Oh, they probably. Yeah, I thought you were referring to a console itself. Like... No, 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 no. Uh, game stuff. They're like. Nope, we're only allowing. This is only going to come out for this amount of time. And that's it. You got to buy it as soon as you can. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, it, I'm not. Say, <laughs> I wasn't saying I was going to play it. I'm just genuinely curious if it if they've figured out a way to release what they originally had made as a new game mode by partnering with LEGO. Because from a business perspective, that sounds really clever. It sounds cool, because if Fortnite is doing it, there might be other games who are interested in doing that, because well, it's popular it, and companies are If it proves to be successful, money. we may see a lot more co-op games, which would be great. Exactly. Like, that is what I love. But... It's unfortunate that it had to be Fortnite. <laughs> uh, 
my shadow is starting to sound so old. Yeah, my back already hurts. <laughs> That actually reminds me of another thing. Like the other day, I was thinking about what this generation of people are gonna be like when older. Like, grandmas from this. Get off age my grandparents' be... lawn that I could never afford to buy. <laughs> Ouch! Mean like that? Too true. <laughs> Not what I was referring to, but it's more like <laughs> the activities the elderly would get up to because our nostalgia games would be games released the last few years. So we have just big games like Minecraft. Some people can look back on Fortnite very fondly. I personally never will. But I, it's just. I, I like to imagine people from this day and age being very old, sitting in a chair, just doing couch co-op in the Elder Home. Elder Home, the... Um... No, no, no. They're going to be playing ultra-competitive games. <laughs> <laughs> at at 3,600 frames per second, of which they can only perceive three. <laughs> uh, you done? Right. Yeah. Alright, let's load up. Yeah, I'm just imagining a grandpa playing like Call of Duty with the rest of their, um... With the rest of the was elderly I... in that room. Well, I was watching something with an 80-something-year-old uh, grandma who plays racing games on the PlayStation. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're already connected. I, I actually follow a, I think it was 91 year old on YouTube who makes a lot of Skyrim content. Yeah, we're close enough to empty. Which is amazing. Oh wait, we should empty the grids out. We're gonna have to hand oh. empty the grids out, Shadow. Uh, but this chair is so comfy. I have to hand unload. Mm. You know what those solar panels really look like now? Um, the giant pink chocolate bar. Oh, um... I know a brand that has a... Packaging that is very, very, very similar to that. Oh? The Chocolonely ones. Tony's Chuck Lonely. I think one of them has a oh. pink that's that color. We actually have those in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's Tony Chuck I, I don't oh know what brand is it. From. Lonely or Lonely? Lonely. I thought it was Lonely. No, no, there's a second L. I swear there's a one of them. Ah, oh, here we go. It's the Chuck Raspberry one that's pink. Mm-hmm. See? Pink. Also, for people curious about that chocolate brand, it's very good. It's very good chocolate. Like, it's all, you know, the sustainable, no horrible Anti-slavery thing. Yeah. 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 Um, your little drone is unhooked up. What? It is not connected. It's not locked. How did it become unlocked? Did you press B? Would I press P? Yes. Only in... Only, only in Empyreon. You filthy P presser. Mm. Also, where yeah, do you actually lonely, access the car... Splits. That You've had an accident. Don't make me get a diaper. Apparently I have some blood in it too. It's red. Or I, maybe I ate too much beetroot. 
But how are you actually getting the cargo out of there? Like the. Um, Shadow, if you come over here, you can access the big ports on these really easily. That should not be possible. Because there are some in the frontmost cargo container as well. That large oh, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. That you have to access directly, which I may have blocked off access to. So you did. That is why I was asking. Oh, dear. Alright, I can gain access to oh, it. Oh, no! The duck has flipped! I flipped the duck. It needed to be flipped. Otherwise, I couldn't drive away safely. Oh. I'm getting stuck in these wheels. Uh, then I have a tip for you. Don't get stuck in the wheels. Thanks. I'll try to remember that. It's complex, though, so oh. it's probably going to be forgotten. Okay. I think it's just the ice in the back of most cargo containers. We're down to just ice. Yeah, I think so. Cool, cool. I'll get in the driver's seat then. Sounds good. Please assume brace position for the. What the? No! <laughs> 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 Thought you were getting in here. <laughs> I forgot that you needed <laughs> the stairs to get in. <laughs> so. I tried to get on the stairs as you raised them, so I just stand there and you almost squish me with them. Well, I presume you did. <laughs> I thought you might have moved out of the way by then. Not bad. What are we missing to build a spaceship? Um. Yes. Technically, we could build uh, one. And we will probably start it when we get back from our little looting trip. I mean, technically, a spaceship is just a singular hydrogen thruster in a seat. No, no, and some but we, batteries. We, we need to lift so. off the whole truck. We've got to take the truck, your I miner, think... and your drone with us. Why would we? Uh, well, are we going straight to Garus? Yeah. We you do know that that's like twelve hundred kilometers away. Yeah. You do know what we need for a jump drive. Something special that we can't get here. Yeah. Yeah? Although, although, there is the FTL drive as well. The um, S7 frameship drive. Which is very fun to use. Well. But in order to get that, we need gold and platinum, I believe. So we which need to we get can... the space, because we can't get them on this planet. No, but we can get them on this planet's moon. Yeah, so, to the moon! To the moon! I mean, yeah, we're trying to get to Agaris so that we can get to war. Yeah. Lazuna's boring. I want to go somewhere exciting. Blackjack. And that word you probably shouldn't say on stream. Yeah, I don't know how Twitch will feel about that one. Even though I'm quoting Futurama. And fishing hooks. Yes, and fishing oh, no. hooks. <laughs> yes! Yes! I am modifying the quote that way. That works. <laughs> Blackjack and fishing hooks. Did we check out this deposit over here, what it was? Whoa! I don't think I have an order taken on this thing, do I? Also, does it not oh, help yeah. to look in the... Blackjack oh, yeah, and rugby know. players, that works too. <laughs> Blackjack and cuddles? Oh no, there is a position called hookup. Ah. Hey, I Splits! I need more wheels on the ground than this! Need is such a loaded term. I would like more wheels on the ground than this. <laughs> Why did I drive up here? I shouldn't have driven up here. Driving up I here was a mistake. Know. 
Yeah, just if you go fast enough, it'll be fine. We have high gravity, so. Ooh. I mean, incognito, this is not the first time Splitzy is driving his truck. Also, it would not be the first time Splitzy would flip this truck. Be the third time? I think. I don't care how many times it is, because that number is also the amount of times it would have been too many. X equals too many times. <laughs> Glad to provide background for you, buddy. Uh... Oh, he's actually called, buddy. Was about to say, like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it felt a bit out of character when we did it. It kind of did. It's usually you go mate in Australian, so... Yeah. It was really weird when I was first trying to come up with my intro for my videos. And... I... Nothing felt right until I said g'day. Everything felt wrong. Everything I tried before that. Just felt wrong. I mean, it's better than my intro. It's just hello, hello, hello. See? Exactly the same record. Why do I have a jetpack? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Why do you have a jetpack? I don't know. <laughs> Shadow's cheating. Everybody, Shadow's cheating. I mean, it's not letting me activate the jetpack anymore, but... Is my suspension oh, squeaky? Boy. No, that's the birds. Uh, what were uh, we what here do for? We want what most? did you want to get? Um, oh, I guess anything. Right. So we do need to eventually siphon off the hydrogen from this grid if there okay. is hydrogen present. We've if we want a giant amount of hydrogen. Of yeah, but do you know how long it'll take to refine that? That long? You just build lots of O2H2 gens. With what power? You've built a large solar thing, it'll be fine. Um. The worst but yeah, I guess steel plates are the best thing to get because that's 21 iron per plate. Well, and metal grids. Yeah. But I suppose with two of us we can quickly fill the truck. Mm-hmm. I just don't have to dig up this whole thing. You didn't even do digging last time. I did do digging. Well, not a lot. That's why we've got the, the pancake-shaped hole under our base. Yeah, okay, that one. But you did not do the excavation of a wreck. Yeah, Capac did it. He just kept exploding things. Oh, you could get out your um, drill ship and excavate this a bit, I guess. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Because with the right click on the big drills, <gasps> it'll actually work better. Oh! Or do you want me to do oh, it? Oh, oh, oh! That realization. Uh. Never mind. Huh. I should probably turn off the ejectors. <laughs> I was like, oh wait, we can get a few crossing components from this grid because I vaguely remember getting crossing components, but we need 1500 for one frameship drive. Although, although, we need 250 thruster components for a small grid frameship drive. Maybe we can actually get a small crit that transports us through the galaxy. I mean, it's literally a small grid truck. It's a big truck, mm -hmm. but it's a small grid. Although the thruster components are still back at our main base, aren't they? If we yeah, did have any. Back at the main base? I think so. Oh, is that how we got the tools when we cheated? Yeah. That time. It's not cheating. Creative use of game mechanics. You're worried for a second you weren't going to get out of this hole. Yep, 80 thruster components in this ion thruster. Okay.
Ah! Just oh, you're not getting out of that hole. Help! <laughs> I think you'd know better than to go anywhere near I was, where I was mining. You think it was voluntary? I bounced. <laughs> Oh, the drone connector's in the wrong group. Oh, gotta fix that. What? Whoops. You saw nothing. Hey, okay. I just exploded some armor. It's fine. If you say so. I was gonna say it's your ship, but it, it's not. Um, hmm. You mean the wreck that I found? <laughs> sure. Does that make a mine? Find his keepers? That's the case, I'm running away with your truck right now. <laughs> Touche. See, you've played Knifey Spoonie before. Sometimes. I mean, it, it's an honest trade. You get a mining ship that barely has any power, and I get a truck that's fully loaded with stuff. I see this as an honest trade. But, um... Is there any gold on Masuno? Because uh, if there is, we will be able to make a frameshift drive. I don't believe there is. You said the there was some on the moon. Yeah. So we can fly to the moon. Let me actually quickly double check. That'd be good. But yeah, I'm pretty confident there's no... The Suno does have gold. It does? Whereabouts? There's no silver. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll have a look at the map. I don't know if it's inlaid deposits. Yeah, it is in deposits. It is to the east of us, actually. Directly east, I think. Oh yeah, in the big wide open space there's gold. Yeah, but then the problem becomes silver. Because we do need 20 gravity components. Unless we can get those from these grids. So what's the moon of Lazuno called? Uh, give me a moment. It's not on the planet Fuhrer, if that's what you're considering, I think. It's called Loris. L-O-R-U-S. Loris, here we go. Oh yeah, it is on the planet Fuhrer, never mind. One moon that is. Uh, it's got cobalt, it's I got think. cobalt, it's got cobalt. It's got cobalt. So, Loris has cobalt, silver, cold. uranium, spice. Actually, that's all it has. Cobalt, silver, uranium, and spice. Okay. Well, we can go get... There we go. See, we just need enough power to get to the moon. We'll go to the pole. We'll get some uranium. And we got power. Because we got silver, we'll be able to make reactors. I like this plan. Yeah. See, it's all good. We've got plans. So dusty. What could possibly go wrong now? Uh... Man's always you, contact with the enemy. Also, how's the, the excavation going memory. there? What was that? How is the excavation going over there? I um, mean, it's going. Oops. It's going great. I'm exploding things, I'm deleting things. It's it's perfect. I presume you've I gone and quickly collected going the, to move the, the, rover. the ion thrusters? I have the iron thruster, so now I'm moving to the other side with the truck. For so slowly, I, I daren't go fast. And that is exactly why. What did you just blow up? The drone that was disconnected again. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah, I probably should have mentioned that that was disconnected again, because, like I said before, when I did mention it, 
Because chat reminded me, it's connector is in the wrong group. How dead is the drone? Very. 0% <laughs> on the battery. Uh, it's dead in the water. Guess we're grinding it down then. It also damaged the conveyoring between along the thing. Yep. Uh, do you have a blueprint for this thing? I do. Okay. I mean, it was a battle drone, so that is one of the first things I did. Yep. Does it pretty much just knock out the battery and that's it? And some armor, I think. It's just that well built. Kinda. <laughs> oh. Let me just get the motors. Oh, I need to fix this too. I need small steel tubes. Yeah. Small steel tube. Oh, this poor thing. Full. Yeah, the ablative armor of a battery. Perfect. Oh, sorry. Oh, are you sorry? Oh, I did not hit you. No, I jumped and I started grinding, but suddenly my grinder was in your hip. Ah. We've got the small steel tubes in this to fix the conveyor. Let's fix it when we get back. Oh well. Or unless we can find what? some on the wreck somewhere. I was about to say, like, oh, wait, maybe there be. in the giant ship that's there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then. The next stage is working on making the truck able to take off. Yep. Actually, is there anything there? Small steel tubes there? Oh, yeah. Those windows were intact. Uh, there's stuff in the antenna as well. I hate grinding down antenna. <laughs> Antennas. It's worst. so painful, I know. I've fixed it now, anyway. Uh, whilst you're there, could you drive the truck over, maybe? Sure. Just jumping to grind down these ion thrusters. Need a Kamak <laughs> demo crew. Yeah, he's somewhat useful for repetitive tasks like this, which is really strange. I think it's because he gets to drop giant chunks of things on the ground. And cause explosions which scare people. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, no. Wait. This does need to turn around. In a small grinding ship? Don't have the power. Battery's looking on this. Up to 385 kilowatt hours. Up to 38%. They started at 17%. If I'm remembering correctly. So doing pretty well. Constant engines running. It's perfect. Drive the truck. Uh. That was the thing you told me to do, right? Yeah. It's more that I just raced up the thing, as you said that. <laughs> Made you think I was telling you to drive the truck? No, it was taking too long, so I was Which like, I'll oh. just do it myself. Close enough so we can just get up. So we'll go forward a little bit more. Uh, like and... A little bit more. Oh dear. That'll work. Go away. Yeah. 
I think this is the way up. So is there, is there any other good stuff on here other than the few thrusters that we've already ground down? Inventory full. Uh, probably. I'm hoping there's like a gravity generator as well. Oh, to see if there's some silver. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess. Control panel. We should put a control panel on this to find out what's on it. Yep, I'll uh, do that. Do we have parts to be able to do that? Or shall I make them at our survival kit? How is computers. that connected game? How? The hydro thrusters do have grids and we've collected a bunch of them so far, so hopefully we've got enough. I think we've I think we might do. At the moment. I do. just need one computer made from the swap kit, right? Oh! <gasps> <What's... gasps> no way. There's a laser antenna on here. Oh. We must have exploded that the first time. Or I'm just completely forgetting that it happened. That it would have it, I should say. Okay, so that has computers and has a bunch of other stuff in it. Did you already get a control panel on there? Yeah. Where did you get the computer from? Well, I would not say it's on there. <laughs> True. But where did you get the computer from? <laughs> uh, the control seats. Oh, up front. I forgot that was there. Okay, so I guess I keep drilling it's... this thing out. This thing does not have any power, so I cannot see where that thing is. Oh, yeah. wait, hang on. Yes, I can, I think. If you put a seat on it. No, I can use it or use build info to see where it is. Because when you target a block, you will see where the block is that you're targeting. Cheats. Cheats. Creative use of game mechanics, even though it is modded mechanics. Yeah, it should be around here somewhere. Let's get the drill ship. Alright. Boing, 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 boing. Cheating if you can't remember the rules. Uh. Those hydro tanks are full, yes. But as I said before, we got tons of ice back at base, so. I'm not worried about trying to extract it. Okay, how about this? How about we just excavate one of those tanks and then carry it on the back of the Inventory truck? Full. Oh, you're going to pull it out of the hole with your mining ship, are you? For example. Sure, we can do it that way if you want. That that sounds alright. That doesn't sound too bad. I found it. I yes, see its little head. found it. Yeah. Totally didn't cheat to get it. Yep. Uh-huh. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you want to hop on the miner so you can grind it down? Not really. Okay. But okay. Oh, you said no now. Oh, you're I'm gonna do it? I'm doing this the hard way. Inventory I mean, I was full. gonna be helpful, but fine. Well, Take if you're gonna be like that, then response. sure. 
rather than the one that I put actual thought into. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put thought into things? No way! I mean, sometimes. Ah, it's in my face. Okay, I got the stuff. Oh. 100 superconductors! Hooray! We can put yield modules on the refinery! We Which don't we don't have. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. At least I'm grabbing I'm grabbing a whole bunch of the just basic stuff as well. So, so yeah, like up. any steel plate that we grab is 21 iron, so. Yeah. And it's power we don't have to consume in making it. Yeah. But our cargo is probably gonna be full soon. Close. Do, 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 do. Ah. Uh. Yes. It's fine. Everything's fine over here. Don't worry about it. I wasn't worrying until you said that. Exactly, don't worry about it. Okay. Are you trying to... No, you not. said don't worry about it. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Thanks, Camo! Thank you for 22 months! We have a death slash flip counter. I wish Space Engineers was reliable enough that we could use a death counter. But people die for so many unrelated reasons uh, to actual play that you can't really use a death counter. Like, you need a person to count. Because the modded death counters just never work. Inventory full. Indeed. It's like Shadow would have died several times today from the reloads and the nonsense there and blah blah blah. And that just feels wrong. So have we got all the good bits? Or are you I still digging so. out a are you still trying to dig out a tank? Or did uh, you get sidetracked? And forgot that was what you were doing. The jank the jank? The tank was a joke idea. <laughs> and would have been very janky as well. Also, we'd need to build drills on the thing to drill enough out to loosen the tank, but we can try anyway, I suppose. If you want to try, I, I wasn't being serious, so... Okay, there's a block in here now. Not anymore. Where's the tank? Right here. Let me actually get rid of the nitrogen thrusters. Go further a bit more. Where I am. Ah! Okay, have a suggestion to make this potentially work without me exploding the tank. Um, might need you standing near the tank with an inventory full of... Um, steel plate, oh, repairing it. I see. Because that way, if something goes wrong, we both die. But then, what about the prediction? 
Uh, we might have to do it like a horse race where we go down to photo finish and see who dies first. Who died first. But I'm not sure how to determine that. Me neither, because stream delay and also in-game delay. I think if we both die in the same explosion, uh, we would count that as a null result, but hilarious. A non-binary. Or we just call it a kappa. <laughs> yep, two people died, it's a kappa. <laughs> You know, I thought it would just be one tank. Yeah. So did I. It just keeps going. Um, I, I think this is a uh, let's crash this idea moment. I think I found the end. Yeah, but that's still one, two, three, four tanks. Yep. With a fifth one unwelded. Yep. It's almost like this grid is just way too generous. On a desolate planet that is very hard to progress on? Yeah, but you find one grid and you're done? Mm, not really. Oh, well, I, mean, I we guess you been. can technically sell. Yeah, okay. If you were truly focused on getting into space, sure, this grid would, would have been it. But still. I mean, we still have to get all the voxel out of it. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, you're actually gonna need to go on top of here and uh, grind a lot of that off, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. Show me your drill. I can hop on. Oh. oh. Also, we're gonna run out of power, so I think we're gonna have to abandon this. Okay. Can you get out, or do you need a lift? I can get out. Thank you for offering, though. Yeah, the batteries on this thing are too low. Do you know what I'm more tempted to do than to get these tanks out? Come back here with the parts for a large grid, a couple of engines, and a bunch of bat- and then put some batteries on a hinge and take <gasps> the batteries. Oh, just siphon power. Yeah. Oh, I like that idea. Steal all the power. Right, did we fill up our inventory? Not a lot. No, we've still got room. Do we want to grab more before we go? Mm. Meh. Do we want more? Uh, do we want some cobalt? For cobalt, or do we just are we happy with the grids? We're happy with the grids, I'd say. Okay. Uh, we might be able to get some gold to balls through here, though. Oh yeah, we could go oh, further. Oh, I'm not sure how close that is. Oh, it's... I think it's far. Well, take us there, Captain. So, we should be... We've gone from this ice, so we want to head... We want to try and find the cobalt, because then we will head southeast from the cobalt. I trust you. Cobalt Although that is... is something I should say once I'm in a mining ship that can fly away. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. I'm I'm happy with our goofy truck design. Well, like I'm not happy face. with it. There are things I would like to do to fix it, to make it better. But happy with it for now. It's functional. 
most of the time when it's not upside down. to the orange bit again Let's see where that cobalt is <laughs> I love how your character is sitting in that cockpit it's very stiff oh perfect posture yep yeah I can see why that's funny um that was there's a guy I went to uni with who, um, when he, whenever we were on, um, like any sort of video conference thing back with when we were away on placement, you could see his perfect posture as he sat at the computer. I am envious of it, but it was also amusing. <laughs> uh, it's still something I'm trying to do myself, but I always find my shoulders soaking forwards. Yeah. I've been doing better lately because of trying to keep my posture good when I'm when I've got Toby in a carrier. I think I've been mm -hmm. gaining some core strength from that, but it's still not good. <laughs> the best workout, being a dad. I mean, it's certainly making my shoulders stronger, throwing Toby around all <laughs> over the place. That... I. Hmm. What? He likes it. I'm not sure that's how you should treat an in well. Not really an infant anymore, is he? Uh, yeah, he's Other. an infant. Is he an infant still? I, yep. I don't know that stuff. Uh, I don't know the I may be slightly off on the timings here, but newborn is zero to three months. Newborn is zero to 28 days. Uh, infant is until... It's either 12 months or 18 months. And then it's toddler. Ah. Oh. So basically, when they can run, they are toddler. Yeah, when they can walk. Yeah. When they can toddle. Toddle, toddle. Thanks, Sarah Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. Neonate is the medical term for newborn. And that's zero to 28 days. You medical nerd. Well, you know. More iron. Oh! Oh! I thought we were flipping. I mean, first person. <laughs> I was wondering why you panicked there for a second. I was like, that, that was. that seemed fine to me. I mean, yes, it is turning at high speed. Should be, I think, in the cobalt area now. We should be around here somewhere. So then we just need to go a few more kilometers for gold. Yeah, I just want to find a cobalt deposit to confirm. Mm -hmm. And there's a speckly spot just up this hill. Which looks rather large yep. and could well be cobalt. And it is next to a cliff, so that's a good indication of where we are as well. Good mm -hmm. landmark. So let me actually be a navigator. Or we'll try to be at least. <laughs> Although I don't see any lips. Cobalt. Uh actually. Now we head southeast. Or oh, east southeast ish. Yeah, probably a bit more east than south. Yeah, I think if if we're on the middle of the deposit, then it's basically directly east. What? Or am I looking at the wrong one? Yeah, I think you're looking at the wrong one. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Oh, wait, we're on the red sand. Yeah, no, you're right. 
but then where are we? <laughs> well, I don't have bear. I like. I don't have coordinates to give you on the planet. Uh. Yeah, because also, I'm looking at the cobalt speed. that's close to our. Oh dear. Have you yeah, got the right, right to the right. The man with the very big right leg. Uh, hang on. Bring up the map on your string. Yeah, probably should. This way, because then I can then I can tell you if you're looking at the right bit. Man with a very big right leg. No, that's completely the wrong place, Shadow. Oh, thought we were here. No, that is not the ice lake we're at. We're at the ice lake to the north east of that. No, no, you went the wrong way. The tiny little ice lake that's in the orange. Oh. Never mind, it's fine. <laughs> you tease. Okay, you're, you're looking at the right bit. Zoom, go north. Love stream delay trying to figure this out. Those are the ice lakes. <laughs> that ice lake right near the magnesium, that's the one we're at. Oh, that's where our base so is. So I the gold see. we're going to the, is okay. southeast. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see where we are now. Thank yep. you. Hello, Lynchet. I mean, the thing about Splitsy and Directions is that when he has a map, he's pretty good. Yeah, I'm fine with the map. I just need to know where I am on the map. <laughs> and also, this has forced me to actually think about where I am. Once I think about it properly, it locks in, which usually happens if I'm at walking pace. But if you let me fly over something, no. Or if... Yeah, no. Like, I can navigate That's... GTA 5's game world without the map most of the time. Because I've played so much of it. And I walked a lot of it. But is that familiarity or you just being able to get directions? I think it's mostly familiarity in that one. Because yeah. I played it for so many hours. But I, I also played, like, moved around a lot of the city at walking speed. And mm -hmm. I very much need that slow speed navigation. I think we need to go more south. Yeah, let's let's check this deposit out. See what it is. Uh, when it comes to predictions on streamers' channels, buddy, it is something a streamer or moderator of that streamer has to do. It is not something a viewer can do by themselves. Yeah. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and if you're not um, around at the time this prediction gets started, you're unable to join it, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, we're at iron. Iron! Pretty sure, looking at the map, it's down in all these dunes that we gotta go. Yeah, in the middle. Of course, it has to be in a hard to reach location. I'm gonna head in. Head mostly south. Um, GTA 6. If it doesn't come out on PC at the same time as the other one, I'm going to be so annoyed. Especially given how much money Rockstar have made off GTA Online. Yep. But they're so not going to. They'll release it on PC like two years later. I don't want to buy a PlayStation or an Xbox. Just one game? No. I did that for GTA. Not what? <laughs> oh. Was it GTA Four? I think it was Four. Oh, what console did you get for it? The Space Engineers. I hope you're not playing Space Engineers on console. No, but I did buy a console to play the Space Engineers version of it. When it came yeah. Out. Okay. Fair. But that's because unfortunately the Xbox. One X, which the which GTA Five will not be coming out on. It'll be the Series X and the PS Five, almost certainly. Although to be fair, like we still have the Xbox One at home, but it, we mostly just use it as a DVD player. <laughs> that's all it's used for. I don't even use mine. <gasps> I should have sold it when oh, it was dude. actually worth something. Really. 
huh. before the series Xbox Series whatever came out. I should have sold it. Uh -huh. Also, Chrono Gaming, to answer your question about this planet, we are currently playing a modded scenario called Ares at War, which is available on the Steam Workshop. This is not custom made for this stream series. No, no. This particular one, no, I didn't do any custom making for. A lot of the other series I do, but not this one. Can you spot any deposits we should be heading towards? No. Hmm. We're also about to run out of hydrogen. Yeah, I was looking at the... Oh, it's just going down. We know when you're a lake. Already. Nice like either, are we? No. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm already hearing the dramatic countdown. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's, that's just until the engine's cut out and then we got battery power. <laughs> And I do have four mini batteries on emergency, like you requested. Good. Yeah, so I'm just thinking whether we have enough power for you to fly and get some altitude and see if we can spot it. Although I think I see something in the distance. Let's check that out first. Pretty much straight ahead, there's a hilltop that looks like it's got some grey on it. That looks like a deposit, yeah. Hmm. Um, so the, the temptation to buy a console to play GTA 6 will be real for me, because I have always enjoyed the mainline GTA games a lot. I personally can't really talk about anything that's before GTA 5 or, well, anything besides GTA 5 really because I didn't get to grow up with it, but what I did play with GTA 5, I I really love that humor. Yeah, yeah. The execution yeah. was beautifully done. Yeah. Yeah, I have I have played all of the mainline GTA games when they were current or near enough to gold there's gold in them thar hill them there dune there's a, i was gonna say there's spice in them there dunes but there there's not that's our moon there's Crocs in our dunes somewhere, isn't there? Do we need to get some of that too? Uh, I think they're heavily guarded, actually. Uh, okay. Cool. I'm pressing the button. Oh, should Trying we go? To. Should we get Crocs before we leave here? So we can have easy breezy ugly feet. I would love some Crocs. I think they're very comfortable to wear. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, Paladol, I would consider San Andreas to be one of their mainline games. Man, San Andreas was fun. I really liked it. GTA 4, didn't like as much. San Andreas, I thought, was better than 4. And obviously they agreed because they um, made 5 more like San Andreas than like 4. But yeah, I played GTA 1, GTA 2 when they were still fairly new. Um... GTA 3 as well. I think I bought... I think I actually bought the console for 4 originally. Just 
So it's hard to remember whether I bought it for four or for five. How much gold do you reckon we need to collect? Um, put okay. up the cargo. Inventory. Should we use the last battery on the last bit of battery on the miner then? Could we? Yeah, let's give it a chance. Okay, I mean, feel free to do it. Okay. Also, I will quickly make My a funeral. GPS location here. Oh yeah, good call. <laughs> I will do the same because. Uh, uh yeah. GPS's as hosts are weird. Like I see all the grids twice because I sent it to you. Oh, lightning in the distance. Delightful. Ah. What are you? Ah. Ah. I just saw a face in the gold. Like ah. one of those anonymous mask faces. I might be going insane. Direction, I am insane. Deposits of gold are big. How full do you let this go before it runs out of juice? Usually like ah. three quarters. Ah, three quarters. I'll do. And I wish I was a gold digger. Isn't it mostly like gem <laughs> hunting in the outback, though? Um, for opals. Yeah, I think that was it. Yes. Sounds about right. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Where is broken? Why can this not drop off? Huh? Fine, why? Are you okay? I can't seem to offload the miner's cargo. Because we're full. Yeah, but normally it still shows it as um, able to go, even if it is full. Weird. We odd. There we go. Ow! So the storm's owie. Yeah, I just noticed as well. Mm -hmm. it, it is moments like these that I'm very glad I'm not playing the female version of the Space Engineer's character. Oh wait, a whole block was destroyed. That's what's wrong. What? We lost a whole conveyor converter. Oh. When the drone destroyed itself. You mean when you disconnected the drone and didn't tell me? I did tell you. You didn't listen. Mm. Likely story. I'm ready to go, Captain. Okay, just getting the one more load with the mining ship. Okay. Once I figure out where I built the hull, build the hull. There it is. I constructed a hull. That's what you do with holes, right? You construct them. Uh, there is no lightning damage. No, it's lightning damage. Stupid. Indeed. Indeed. If only that was like a setting in Vanilla Space Engineers, because it would be a... I was gonna say a fun challenge. No. But I, I think it would just be a challenge. Like, if you truly wanted to make a hard scenario, you would turn that on. But as a default vanilla thing to have it turned on, no. There are so much more fun ways to make it hard. Yeah. Like, 
that that's not a difficulty setting, that's a irritation setting, I reckon. Yeah. Not other people who enjoy playing that way. There's always that person. No, Nuka World, the lightning damage, the lightning human damage in this is completely unrealistic. It seeks you out based on a timer. It's not even realistic. Uh, ow! Why did I suddenly take one point of damage? I don't know! We go. Uh, Might be a bobblehead. I wish. That'd be funny. Am I doing it right? All I know is I'm not doing it right. I'm not going back to. Hang on. You bobbling? I'm trying. Yeah, it's not really working. You just more like no. you look more like you're jiggling on the dash. <laughs> okay, no, that's actually quite uncomfortable. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> What's up? Oh, uh, it's just Lanjet again. He and his clips. Uh, Usually me out of context. Also, I cannot see anything. Go. Cool. Maybe we should like clean the windows or... No, wait, no, it's just a storm. Also, I am exactly 500 meters away from the go- oh, never mind. You ruined it. I was- so there was a bit- I ended up editing it out, I think. Um, but I was exactly 5,432.1 meters away from an unknown- a uh, strong unknown signal in the collector. <laughs> oh, that's- that's very nice. Love it when that happens. Oh, we got a fair way to travel. Okay, I always do it at breakneck speeds. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I shall hydrate. Also, for all the previous hydrate redemptions, I did hydrate. Just as a heads up. I have not been smuggling my hydrations. It's clearing up a little. Seems yeah. To be. Maybe I'll be able to see a little bit of what we're driving towards. Would be nice. Yeah. I guess since I can't see, I'll just go faster. Also, nickel. Thanks, Ryza Manu. Thank you for 17 months. Quite worrying not hearing the mute sound of TeamSpeak when usually I do, albeit very quietly. So I just had to hold in my sneeze a bit longer than comfortable <laughs> just to make sure it, it was muted. <laughs> well, you know how hopeless I am with it being able to able to even set up a mute or that sort of thing on my end so I'm not going to be I'm not going to be complaining Let's Hey, currently I have a record of not hearing anybody from your community like 
letting them hear me sneeze. So right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not curious what type of now. sneeze you have. Is it like a or is it like a oh, no. <laughs> that one? Yep. I I am or is a very like loud a, sneezer. Or is it like a capac old man sneeze? <laughs> no. Luckily, I don't have that one. <laughs> yeah, I I have a very loud sneeze. Uh huh. So that is why I usually it's a sneeze of power, of control. Yeah, I. <laughs> of leadership. I basically, just burrow my face into my arm just to muffle it a little, whenever I do sneeze. But yes, it's not still a like... pixie sneeze. <laughs> uh, one of my friends, um, she's like a a rapid fire pixie sneezer. Oh. Like, choo, choo, choo. <laughs> so basically, a laser battle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Always I, comes I do with at least breeze. This... Oh, that is actually quite adorable. To... <laughs> but I do sometimes have those sneezing fits where I have to sneeze for like a minute straight just because whatever was in my nose didn't like it didn't want to move. And it was just continuing to itch me the wrong way. Also, we are very sideways. And yet, that's the safest position to be in. Hmm. Oh, because if, if I drive along the ridge lines, I don't end up having to go up and down so much. And we're a bit wide to drive along some of the actual top of the ridge lines. Yeah, yeah. But also. We do have a heavy miner somewhere in the middle. Yeah, on the higher the side. Yeah, fair. This truck is quite big boned. Yep. It's like Cartman, except not horrible. Uh, nope. The miner could not go and collect ice and come back. The miner would crash doing so, because it's very low on power. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a few hours remaining. Ooh. When you're throttling, which you're not doing a lot. Ah, one hour of power should be fine. Yeah, we're good. And we can use it, when we get back to base, we can get load a couple of loads of ice in. Once we've unloaded everything. Also, I will quickly go to the bathroom once again, since we're moving, so... Go sure. It's convenient that the bathroom breaks are made while we're on the move, rather than having to find the nearest petrol station to stop at. Makes the travelling much quicker. Another 22 k's to cover. I'm so glad we didn't bother going back through the mountain pass. If we were con if we kept our other base and stayed on the other side of the mountain pass, this would have taken so much longer than building a whole new base, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> my my driving makes Shadow need to go to the bathroom. I don't I don't think. I don't think my driving when it makes someone sick gives them enough warning to go to the bathroom. Don't think it does anyway. Uh, we are on the side with magnesium. We do need to collect a bunch of magnesium, but we've been trying to um, grab some other stuff to build more things first. And I reckon I'll, I reckon we should have enough stuff processed back at base to build a proper refinery or two. And since Shadow picked up some um, superconductor components, we'll be able to make yield modules and get a lot more out of each trip, which should be great. Holy cow. Just accelerated a lot. Uh, those are some hills. Those are some hills. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. Held it together. 
Nothing to see here. Got how much of a downhill run this was. <laughs> Just need to do the no 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 Do that. It's fine. I totally didn't roll the truck and destroy the miner. It didn't happen. Right. Right. <laughs> also, unfortunately, I did have to take off my headphones this time. Aww. It's the closest toilet was already occupied because it is also our shared bathroom. So do I go up here? That no, doesn't seem to matter. That doesn't seem to matter. Also, to be fair, I'm more surprised that you didn't roll the rover. Really? Yeah. I'm getting pretty good at driving this thing, I think. I'm getting... I feel like I'm getting a handle on how it performs. And how far I can push it. Uh, Please say those swings when we're back home already. <laughs> It's fine. You gotta break a few eggs to know how they cook. Right. What could possibly go wrong at 670 meters per second? 670 meters per second? A whole lot? And, well, it's 70 Amy. meters per second. With 330 tons of truck. I mean, to be fair, when I was playing my single-player uh, Gauras at War, well, the Gauras at War, like, the Gauras playthrough on Ares at War, mm -hmm. I was driving my rover at 90 meters per second, at a minimum. Although it was way smaller than this. Yeah, this thing doesn't exactly have stopping. It just has distance. You don't calculate <laughs> the stopping distance, it's just distance. Uh, also, to answer your question, Willikan, um, I'd say go to Agaris, because that is where most of the scenario takes place. Yeah, starting on the Zuno was um, not our best choice, I think. To be fair, it was work in progress. Yeah, yeah. To defend the hard maker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm saying it wasn't our best decision. Ah. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> And also, you are supposed to start a little bit differently than we did. Yeah, but I don't I, think it, it would have it, provided much difference in resources. I had a look at that wreck before I, before we put together what we put together. So I think the intended, lazy, like the intended way to play the scenario would be to get that chip onto some wheels and find that big wreck that we saw. Yeah, and then leave. Yeah. Although that, it's a straight line, and I think we prefer squiggling a little bit more. And making a few loop-de-loops as well. Yep. One smooth, continuous, flowing line. Indeed. Did you ever do that in art? In art? Do single line drawings? Oh, an art. Yeah. Um. I mean, the closest I've done to a single line is drawing a circle, because of how many attempts it takes. <laughs> no. So, uh, in art <laughs> in high school, we, to encourage people to be more creative with more restrictions, one of the restrictions that was done a bit, a fair bit, and one of the teachers was known for droning. One smooth, continuous, flowing line. Um, because if you do one-line drawings, like drawing a face, for instance, 
it makes Very for an hard. interesting challenge to how to connect all the bits in a way that's still stylistically um, makes sense. So basically a old man or old lady, because you get to draw the wrinkles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really done a proper single line thing. I, I guess the closest to a similar challenge would be the color palette challenge that I've been doing semi-regularly. Yep. Where I just go to a random color generator, uh, get the palettes, and then have to use those colors to get a sketch and finish a sketch as well. Yep. It is a fun challenge because it kind of teaches you more about color harmony as well. Mm -hmm. Because some colors are more dominant than others, as in they really try to get your attention. And then you can fade into softer hues of colors that just bring it together as a whole. Yeah. I mean, all these things are kind of like the NaNoWriMo sort of, t sort of thing, just for art. The more restrictions yeah. you give yourself, the more creativity you force yourself to do, and the better you get at then being creative when you have all the options available. Also impatient? Me? Well, I'd never. So impatient that she locks me up here and didn't leave the stairs down. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sure this You're will welcome. be fine. This isn't, this is totally not going to smack the truck. Oh, we need a full-size refinery. We do for the gold, yes. I also may have to cut off the duck's bill. No! I mean, the goose's... bill. Oh! Just move the truck, it's easier. Hi! On the hearts, that is. That, no! It's easier on the hearts. Uh, fine. I can't actually move it. I parked in too close, I think, anyway. Alright, can you drop the duck? I am dropping the duck. I think. Did I use the wrong one? What do I, I need to drop? Yeah, it needs to be the top one. Otherwise, it's not flat. Alright, extend the duck. the duck. If I can get to that piston. Extending the duck. Thanks, Marius Darkheart. Thank you for the prime sub. Cool. Oh, is it aligned? It was. Hang on, let me... Did you go too far? I did not realize how you set this up. Did it with all of the planning and all the things. It's totally intentional. Everything that. made perfect sense. Uh, we have to offload all the components ourselves. Let's. Like... What? That connector. <laughs> Inventory full. Those are some very, very expensive components to be throwing out. <laughs> I think I got it all. Some fall off the other side. Nope. Looks good. Just gonna remove that. We are inserting stone into this duck's brain. There we go. It's no longer in the group. Thank you. Although it is too late, it already killed a friend. Oh, glad you could catch it. Maris? Yeah, the, the hopper bottom is, um... It's special. We have fun with this. <laughs> The more stupid it looks, the more fun it is. Oh, uh, we have so much. That's stuff. why we add ice to this thing. 
Yeah, it's also why I want to rebuild the whole trailer so that that can be a single large connector that ejects out, because then we can eject out all components too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Although I have a stupid challenge for you. Yeah? How about making it a large grid connector? Have what? a large grid in between bit. Why? Hey, face loader. Hello. Why do you want large grid there? It'll be too big. Exactly. No, no, like it'll be actually too big. Uh, it won't work. But, but we can make it work. No, no, like 10 small grid blocks tall to attach the connector to anything. It's just going to be way too big. Mm. Like not funny big, just not, not functional big. But, 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 Uh, how is the power actually doing here? What did he recharge in 17 hours? Not ideal, but not horrible. Yeah. Uh, we have lost sunlight now, though. I think. Did we? Now, let me check. Uh, do you reckon... Uh, we still get a little bit. We're still getting a little bit? Okay. Are the RV's lights meant to be on? Yeah, they probably shouldn't be. I don't see why not. They do use a bit of power. Spotlights, at least. The other ones use a small enough amount that it doesn't really matter. Okay. We have enough parts. I'm going to put down a large refinery. Uh, yeah. Do you want to... Plan out the base a bit more for it, or is it just pop it down where there's cargo? Um, honestly, it's a little bit just pop it down, but I've got a spot at the back that fits perfectly. Uh, I'll go transport some steel plates as well. Yeah, so we've still got over 1200 in the truck. And there we go, done. Now we just need the yield modules. Oh, you put it on its side. Yeah, so that we could access easily to put down the yields. Because you said you had. That's right. Uh oh. You said like 100 superconductors or something, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we have 100 from that uh, thing we found. Cool. E laser antenna. So if you can bring over the superconductors, then we'll have these pretty much sorted. Oh, yep, we'll do. Uh. Oh, it's still in a minor. Oh, oh, it's in a. Oh, of course it, they are. Oh, yeah. We can't get stuff through. You could just move the miner over to the base. Ah, too late now. There you go. Where'd you put him? Oh. Apparently my phone is still not on silent. I, ne <laughs> I needed to be contactable at the wedding because I was involved in the important stuff and I was like, oh, I should probably have this so I can actually be found by the groom if he needs me. I was about to say, like, jukebox? But that's not space engineers. Okay, now let's put this on silent. This should have been, especially given how much grief I give Capac for it. <laughs> and because that's a stupid phone call from a bunch of jerks who think I'm someone I'm not, and keep trying to chase me for that person's debts. Oh. Who will not leave me alone. But I wish there was a way I could, um... Make them leave me alone. Why has the collector got superconductors in it and that won't move? 
me. That oh, is no. a very good question. Okay, got him. Oh, pardon me. Oh, there we go. got a drunk solar array again. I'm going to remove the basic refineries now. Oh, yes. Um, actually, let's just turn them off first. And then disable cargo. Failure yeah. system. Yeah, that's what I was meaning I was going to do as part of the removing process. Ah. There we go. All off. Now we get more from the same power. Indeed. Oh. oh. Yes! The raised pooper! It's beautiful. Uh -huh. Although I can make it more beautiful. -er. Alright, I'm gonna build a second refinery. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> also, wait, the second one? Yeah. You won't be able to put yield modules on them. I know. But okay. I could put I could move two of those yield modules onto this one and put power efficiency on put two power efficiency on each. How about we make a dedicated zone refinery that just has speed upgrades? Uh because we won't have the power to run speed upgrades. But we could do a dedicated stone that just has the power efficiencies. That works as well. Inventory. Uh, let me get two sorters then. I mean, all we can set up uh, Izzy's. <laughs> it's... Uh, Izzy's won't fix that problem. Can't you dedicate, can't you specify which refineries do what? I don't think so. I thought you could. Aim. Yeah. Aim. No, thank you. Are you up to with this array? Orders. One in, one out. Yeah, I it just was um more sizable than I was expecting. I'm sorry for not making it very efficient. No, no, don't be sorry. I was just confused for a moment. Especially as you're dropping down and then going back up. Gosh. It just looks better this way. Well, I was... What? <laughs> okay, that skin was accidental, but... Uh, I don't feel like changing it now. Oh... I don't know, shouldn't have done that. You cut off my conveyor. I. Oh. Come back. Uh oh. Help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. You have conveyor access. You can get out of it without grinding things, but you chose to anyway. You could have just built a ramp. In what box? But yeah, okay. Between the oh. sorters, sure. Mm -hmm. What's the fun in that? See you, fire strike. Ah! What are you ah? You pushing me around? I'm not pushing you around. I wouldn't. Have said right. Alright, oh, finally time. painted the thing again. Also. Just to be different. Oh, actually, that's a mistake. 
Uh, let's see how much of a mistake it is. Refinery in the ground? No. Oh. Industrial refiner. I did. Oh, did I hear a bonk? Did you hear a bonk? I heard a bonk. What went bonk? Well, the one thing that continues to move from the subgrid, I, I'd assume. You mean like the drill that's spinning around under the ground? <laughs> there are quite a few things. The second thing that is on the subgrid that's <laughs> moving around. <laughs> Uh, I'm... I'm suspecting that the solar array is crashing into something, but I don't know what it's crashing, like, crashing into. Or is oh. it just making noise because it bounces a bit? Yeah, I think that's it. It's just... sided, I suppose. Okay. This is much nicer. We can put one yield module on this. It does improve mm. the yield from stone, so... Helpful. I'll set up the sorters. Cool, cool, cool. I'm presuming you just have the in one have stone only and the out one is just on. It's just there to stop yep. backflow. Exactly. A white list drain? Oh, it's not necessary. No, no it's Although, literally just set up the white list for stone and then that's it. I thought we could turn on drain all. Um, Pull more stone into the refinery. Yeah, to keep it maximally full, yeah. yeah. Probably not any harm. Yeah. Um, There's no downside to doing such. Power efficiency modules. Wait, is silicon really that slow to refine? Is it slow refining in this as well? Probably is. No, right? It may well be. Dragged on! Thank you so much for almost four years at tier three. I like your hodgepodge rest stuff you have going on. Also, uh, does it feel like a little over four years since you YouTube generated? But, well, YouTube began in 2016. Um, my solo stuff on Twitch is like four years ago, which is crazy. Properly crazy. Yes, you are. Um, yeah, it, do it doesn't feel that long ago. Even though I know it is. It's been too much fun for it to feel that long. Also, as my partner reminds me pretty much every day, I have a terrible sense of time. <laughs> when I am doing things that I enjoy. I find it very, very easy to get completely lost in what I'm doing. Here. Step up. Oh. Uh, cool. I don't have the parts yet, though. Well, you will soon. Yep. So. Thank you. Was it... Was it actually 20... It was late 2019 that I started doing um, stuff on Twitch more regularly. Anything between 2019 and 2022 is just lost to me. <laughs> I blinked and suddenly passed like three years. No, you changed the color of my toilet, you monster! Oh, yeah, I did do that. Fine, then I'm changing it to something more horrific. Is that possible? Camouflage. Oh, but... In pink. Ugh. I don't think I want to sit exactly. on a furry toilet. <laughs> well, you don't want that soft 
I actually, no, I see where you're coming from now. <laughs> <laughs> Figured you'd get there. Oh yeah, I'm well aware I'm getting old, Fear Seeker. But the fun part is, if I'm getting old, what about the rest of the people? Yeah, Shadow, you're, you're ancient, ancient, ancient lady. And you are the archaeology site then. <laughs> you must have blocked me from jump doing my little jump that I was doing. Oops. Not my intention. Okay, now I can wait for the last one. Uh, this is who I'm playing with. Wait, what? Dang it! Oh, crap. Crap. <laughs> that is not my name. There we go. That is also not my name. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing with... There we go. Oh, gee, thanks. A little bit crazy, but a lot of fun. Alright. Uh, I'll need to be lifted up <laughs> twice. How do you jump up on this thing, anyway? Uh, jump onto the order. Oh, and I need to drop down once, and then... Whoa. Refinery! That was weird. That, jump went that was strange. a weird jump. It was a real weird jump. Look like a lag field jump, but you're the host. And now we just ah. go up. There you go. Teamwork! Kill! We have a stone refinery. Which is not getting enough together. stone in. Nope. So you wanted to keep that thing manual. Oh, you're, is it too fast for the store to... No, you've got the sorter on, Draenor. Uh, Dragnon! Oh, we're out of stone. That's why. <laughs> Maybe he'll get your name right if you obtain his skull in station ears. Maybe, Dragnon. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, 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 hey. I know Black Shadow 3749. Mm. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> Flipsy. Yes. Black Shadow 5738 as linked with my little shadow command. Also, Dragman, thank you for the resub. The madman. Oh, no! Hi. Ow! <laughs> I died! <laughs> there we go. Wow. How si did that kill me? 60% <laughs> of people had their. Well, 60% of points were on you. 11 people on me, 13 on you, 4 on TFE, and 7 on Kappa. How did that kill me, though? Um. I think you're also, I am in my landing. cheater suit. Like, I didn't even take damage jumping down here. Yeah, I landed on the piston. <laughs> yeah, that was probably the problem. But I, um... I need a med bay. Oh. Fast. You, you know you're an admin on this, right? Oh, I, um, I am. Yeah. Oh yeah, I am too. Because this is the because this is the save from the server. It's got our actual <laughs> Steam sixty four ID. You're gonna hate me for this. Hey, as uh, long as it doesn't, my drill doesn't hit into it. I'm fine. No, it's more like the color. The oh, I don't. I, I I'm fine with it. I'm just not fine with a furry toilet. <laughs> Makes me, uh, makes me think um, of uh, a toilet in a grandma's house from the 1980s. Like a toilet seat warmer. specific. Warm 
there was there were these things back then that like it was like a sheepskin thing that you put over the top of the toilet seat. I think so that you could sit on a cushioned top of a toilet seat. That's weird. Thanks, Untraceable. Thank you for the prime sub. And I think it was mostly oh. grandmas that did it. What are you doing? Did you try and squash me? This. Oh. Wow, that actually hurt. <laughs> Run away. Wait a minute, I just realized something. You can't actually get to me now. Ow! 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 <laughs> okay, no, I get it. <laughs> you forgot I had a rifle. Oh yeah, the, the shag pile rug carpet nonsense. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible stuff. Oh, just so you know, you did just deal 58 damage to me. Oh, that is good to know, because that is the most basic of rifles. Ooh. Ow. I thought it was going to knock you off, rather than um, just straight up hurt you. I thought it was going to... Did gonna... you do something to the survival kit? No, it's, it was doing that to me last week too. Remember it used ow, to do it to Kappa? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> he'd complain that I'm sure... he was getting hurt while he was healing. I don't know. I'm what sure you put some it. knives in the keyboard. <laughs> also, I completely forgot to do something to that survival kit. Oh right, yeah. You did. There we go. Better. No wonder we were getting hurt. Alright, is this thing now full? Yes, it is now full of stone. Excellent. Also, Spencey, I have a quick question. Yeah? Why did you orient this refinery the way you did? What do you mean? If you turned it 180, we could have actually used it to get up. We can. I'm up on it. Yeah, but we have to jump over a wheel in order to get up here. Ah, uh, details, details. Hang on, could you move a little bit more? Oh, wait, hang on, go forward. Stand on the edge again. Look at me. No. Oh. What? <laughs> I feel like you're gonna drop. I'm... Oh, wait. Oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> hang, on, hang, on, hang on. I'm trying to get a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That, is that perfect? <laughs> so you're kind of like an S with the bottom of your body? Yep. Kind of? This is what Chad is saying. I'm... That is impressive. Yeah. It's my Cirque du Soleil powers. Yeah. Is no this kidding. the hovering you were after? Yep. <laughs> you actually <laughs> stood on the block still. Oh, I love it. Uh, I can't get you back because I know I'll probably kill you. Yeah. So I then I'll feel guilty and then I'll think I shouldn't have done it and then. It's... <laughs> Okay, Murloc. Also, fun fact about the Murloc. The person who voiced the Murloc was actually just... What's I'm pretty sure he had yogurt. No. You are not being serious. You do not know what a Murloc is. Uh, that is true. This is a murloc, if you look at my stream for a moment. What's that from? Warcraft? Oh, I never played. Wow. Inventory full. Last time I played anything Warcraft was when it was an RTS. Inventory wow. Full. I... 
Wow. Hey, I played Eve. You didn't play Eve. You lived in Eve. No, oh, that's it. Like, to be fair, I haven't played Warcraft either, but I do know of it. I love how surprised you were. It's just like, it's from your era, and it's such a global game. Like, even people who don't play that game have knowledge of the game. I have precious little knowledge of the game. Most of the knowledge I have of WoW comes from one of my mates who did play it a lot, um, telling me some of the broken mechanics and things that he came across, but some of the fun times, but never about any specific creatures because he knew that I wouldn't know what they were. But he never showed you what a murloc is. No. Why would he? It wasn't pertinent Because the they're funny creatures making funny sounds? Because the person who voiced the murloc was literally just... Making a, like gurgling with yogurt in his mouth, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which is horrific. absolutely hilarious. Gargling it's yogurt. amazing. Yeah. Wait, what? There was there was a game where the the sound effect of is the truck jiggled closer to the building. Oh, Halo. That is not a. Didn't doesn't Halo have a similar story for the? The sound effects in it. Maybe. I don't know about the stories of Halo, though. I guess one of the devs making the sound effect for the, the little guys. Grunts. Yeah, the grunts. I think I tried e I think I tried WoW once. Um, in my head was expecting like a a Baldur's Gate style RPG experience. Got something that I didn't understand and went, eh, I'm not interested, I'm bored. Fair enough. Yeah, I very much grew up with the popular games from, I guess, the start of the two thousands. Yeah, you you've got you've got an impressive um, knowledge of things that are well before your time. <laughs> yeah, it it helps that my dad used to own a game store. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. I think it I think it's why there's. <laughs> It was easier for us to relate than it otherwise might have been based on that age gap. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, you could bridge that gap quite considerably. And then me being aware of new stuff and the stuff for my nephews and nieces and the, what they like as well. Mm hmm. Yeah. I I personally love retro games as well. Like, I was recently laying out an old desk because I wanted to bring it up to my room, and I found some old DVDs. Oh, not DVDs, like CDs, I think. Um, hang on, I actually took some pictures. Let me get you the names. Like, I found the old PC CD ROM for SimCity 4, for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, Command and Conquer 3, the Tiberium War, Kane Edition, and Hope World 2. And Settlers 2. Ah, Settlers 2. Um, Did you play Settlers 2 much? A lot. Energy. I played it a lot. So, there's a game I we may play game. together at some point. Uh -oh. Pioneers of Pagonia. Pioneers of... Yeah. How does one type that? P-A-G-O-N-I-A. Ah. Yeah. So, it, is it like a remaster of Settlers in a way? Like, no, it is a brand new game a... made by the guy who made the original Settlers. Oh. 
which will release in approximately two days. Yeah. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I should not look Inventory at this during stream. <laughs> What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, wait, I see. What did I do? I've whitelisted gravel. How did that even pull a, that other stuff out? Oh, did it get filled? Probably. Because it's the closest connected to the drills. Oh, that's gravel. Uh, could you wait with doing that for one moment? You need gravel for something. No. Rebling. The gravel is in the way. Oh. There we go. The gap between it doesn't bother you? It does. But less okay. so than a hovering connector. Okay. And there is no other block that can really line up to it because the connector is so weird. Yeah, yeah. This just feels a bit better. I think RTS games during the 90s and early 2000s kind of did everything that sort of could be done with something still being an RTS rather than being a colony builder or a town simulator or whatever. I think that's why they've stagnated because there there isn't much else that could be done. And I think enough of the colony builders started taking on some of the ideas from them. I personally would love them to take on more colony sim stuff. No, no Mind that with an RTS. Yeah. Sensor mm. armor panel that fit in place of the pillar thing as well. Oh, but yeah, then it's just like an armor piece. That won't look too great. Also, this ball of gravel is going to annoy me so much. And I think I might just know how to fix it. Good. There you get rid of my gravel um, pile. Please. I'm moving it to something that will be less in the way. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I got an idea. No. Put it on my hopper. Oh. Oh, you're gonna make a little basket for it. <laughs> uh, also, uh, you do know that you can press B twice to align to the local grid, right? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> you know how sometimes there are have... things you know, but you just don't use for some reason? They just don't come into your head at that time? That was one of them. Does Hazard actually work on that? No. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Why would anything work? We could use half game? plate instead. Mm. I kind of like how minimalistic this is. Yeah, me too. But it's still gonna roll over. Almost perfect. Ah. Yep, <laughs> there it goes. It's yeah, perfect. No, my idea was to dr drill like a very small hole. No. And then make like a funnel with a connect, connect with um, no, no, a no, small no, no, grid no. box. Hang on. All right, I, I will fix this. Just give me a minute. I'll fix this. I'll make it perfect. Okay. If it's anything less than perfect, I'll be mad. 
I mean, I'm already mad. Yeah, but you'll also be angry. Yeah, true. What's on me? Oh wait, I want to do that the other way. That needs to be the other way. This way. I think it's. I think it was just too low in the ground. Should work now. Don't worry, this project isn't going to be like my massive uh, fountain in Icarus. It took me like a whole stream to try and get these bits precisely placed. Did you throw out the gravel while that was... What? No, no, something's coming out now. Extend Why are you immediately blaming me? Uh, experience. Played with Capac yeah, too much. There. Which one do you want to go with? Both. Both is good. <laughs> there we go. I don't love the little greebles that we get to do now. As do I. I like adding little details. Uh -oh. I like being able to tell little stories with little parts of the base. I really Wait. need to... I need to give myself permission to do more of those bits. Hey Split, could you come over to the goose duck thing for a moment? I have found a severe flaw in your design. Oh. What's that? You cannot transport the your plates because there is no large to large cargo connection between yes. the two halves. Because these shouldn't have been able to eject steel plates. So that is just a design thing you're gonna roll with? I don't know or... how it happened. How did they get in there? Uh, probably me as I was offloading. Did you manually dump just them? A... Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I did not realize that they weren't connected to each other. Sounds like a flaw in the shadow. Oh, yeah, that's I'm always flawed. Why are you surprised? Well, surprised. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's alright, I've emptied them also, out. Also, it's still overflowing. Oh, what? Backwards or forwards? Nah, uh, pillar side. <sighs> yeah, we need a we need something against the something on the pillar side of things. Wait a minute, what? Yeah. Room, place this. Okay. Problem solved in the worst way possible. Oh no. But it is solved. This hurts. Oh, that hurts more. Because <laughs> of, of how it doesn't align to these ones. Uh, <laughs> why are you like this? Because uh, I enjoy the reactions. Ow! Stop that! What do you mean? You give me a reason to be mean. Hmm. Hmm. Just turn you off. 
No, nope, that's not what I meant to do. That's off. Oh, the, the thing snapped down. It transferred itself to the other grid. Dang it. Eh. Automatic grid alignment. Nonsense. Okay. Do it Shadow's way. Wait, hang on. Just realized something I need to do. And that is? There we go, that's better. Uh, oh wait, do we have not... Do we not have the build modes show their... Oh, we don't have the build states show their effect thing. I need to have that on. That mod. Must have forgotten to add it. There you go. This Cage is hard to recharge. Whoa. <laughs> that's oh. that's an uncomfortable toilet to use. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Hey, give it a try. Hey, Buzz is Baruda. I mean, I could make this out of um, catwalk, actually. That might work better. So I can weld it up. It is quite concerning hearing, like, hearing the drilling beneath my feet. <laughs> it's even more concerning when you realize that it's actually well beyond your feet now. Yeah, it's around here. Do, 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 do. Yeah. TV, I don't want to put too much thought into what's going on with that toilet. Uh, physics. Ah, oh, yes. Physics with a K. Indeed. What were we supposed to be doing when we got back here? I've completely lost track now that I'm making a hit um, for gravel. More power and, I think, hydrogen conversion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's... And then I was going to work on the truck. Is the drill ship that's the same place. Yeah, I'm currently just gripping on the base to make it a little bit more leg friendly. And I mean that LEG, not LAG. Well, also LEG, actually. Ah. Leg and leg. So you're getting confused with all the vowel sounds, much like a New Zealander would. <laughs> oh, that just reminds me of that deck ad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A's are E's, E's are I's, I's are U's. Oh, oh yeah, Shadow, do you mind turning on the gravel dumper? Oh, uh, yeah. Gravel dumper dumper? Yeah, because it's the dumper for the gravel dump. Yeah, okay. That is uh, very close to not being able to lift off. Because of how full it is? 
Yeah, I filled it with ice. Ah. By far and away the quickest way to get ice across. Do the thing. Oh no. Wait, no, help. Help. Uh, what? <laughs> help. <laughs> uh, uh, perfect. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Stay there, stay there. No! Stay. I, yes! No, I don't yes. want to screenshot. No! Yes! I, I am an animal in a cage. I do not consent to this. Help me, please. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta stay. Stay. Stay put. No. Stay. I'm gonna hide in the gravel. Fine, I'll just go to the tree. Being sunk into gravel. <laughs> this is not comfy. There's 27 or 2 units of gravel in my face. I gotta look up a little bit. Come on, Shadow, stand up. Could I, um, get some help? I suppose I can let you out. No, no, no! Oh. oh. I was gonna suggest building a chair on the miner so I could hop into the chair because this is gonna be a pain in the ass place. That's why I ground out that one. Okay, back to what I was doing. More ice for the truck. I guess I should put tanks on the back on the trailer of the truck so that this thing has hydrogen tanks. Probably. And maybe a gas hookup so we can actually get some gas into that trailer. From the base. Oh, you mean I finally have to put a proper connector on? I didn't say that. It doesn't have to be connected cargo wise. It kind of does have to be connected cargo wise, but it does. We can always just set up a sorter on a blacklist so we can't transport gar cargo through. No, I was I was planning with the rebuild to put a proper connector on the rear. Okay. Or on the top or something like that. Okay, that's gonna help this get a lot of power. So those engines should stay running for quite some time now. I just filled up the cargo containers I was going to disconnect. Like an idiot. Your words, not mine. Um. My pink wafers are rattling. rattling. Yeah, they do that. Well, that doesn't work. Uh, hmm. tricky. I am hearing jungle noises coming from your mic whenever you talk. <laughs> you are? Uh, it, it sounded like a lot of bugs, but it's gone now? Weird. You Very. know, there is an Australian bird that is often used for alien jungle sounds. Sounds about right. It doesn't even live in the jungle. It's not even a rainforest bed. So it's a great voice actor. But it's so unfamiliar for so many people that it shows up in like movie jungle scenes all over the place. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Shadow. Oh no, not good. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I suppose. 
I was gonna ask for, I was gonna get you to help me by moving the duck. Huh. I'm not sure I can actually get out of here without the duck being moved. I am free bringing some more power onto our base. Uh, more solar or more wind? Wind. Okay, I think I can lift the duck now. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can! It is a bit like the scene from Austin Powers, yes. Oh. Oh. Space there Engineers really wants to scare me, apparently. It just made it look like I fell off of the tower I was building, but then suddenly I wasn't falling. I was just standing in the place I thought I was. Oh. D&D truck. thinking about how I want to redo this, like how I want to improve the trailer design so I can finally close up the cab, back of the cab. Oh? Well, because I was going to potentially have a shut-off valve for the connection between the two so I can load up the front with ice and hydrogen and not let that be used by thrusters and have mm -hmm. the hydrogen for the thrusters be carried in the trailer. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Isn't you oh, like a um, plant that you make fiber from? I am located neither in the north nor in the south of Australia. Oh, that's jute. <laughs> that's right. It's close. Because uh, ute, as in a u utility vehicle, does not have a Y in it. Uh, I have not seen how dump trucks use dolly locks. No. Uh, that sentence confuses me. I mean, I know what these words are separately. <laughs> yeah, what I'm they kind are of the together. same. <laughs> All together, I'm like... Uh, Oh, have a good one, South Heaven. Alright, it's landing it. You mean I cannot withdraw uh, two computers? I'm a little bit away from the place before I do this. So I'm going to detach the trailer. Make my modifications. Oh, this hurts. You know what hurts more? My wheels are cross eyed. <laughs> Stupid weight distribution. I hate it when this, <laughs> this happens. I'm gonna need to have a invert um, steering for the impressive. wheels for when the when there's ice in the cargo container. Sound like fun. Yeah. I've had to do it with a few of my trucks that are designed like this. Because the center of mass dictates which way the wheels spin. I can put some extra mass further back on the truck.
so far I have managed to breathe one wind turbine onto the base. Woo! We're rich. Rich, I tells Hello. ya. Probably won't make enough of a difference, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Heavy armor. I like the look of it. Mm, actually, that's a lie. This passageway is not chunky enough. Oh, well. oh yo. Okay. Cool. Oh. So that one really worked. Hey, anyway. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, a question we should never ask ourselves, Shadow. I know. Because we really don't want the answer. down the bottom. We got that. He's summoning the fleet. Okay. Oh, fleet. Now we just connect the trailer. And we raise it up. So you're just trying to lift the entire thing into the air, or? Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do here, actually. I think I might need to get rid of the entire hitch I, okay. part and redo it, and all of the containers at the back as well, and just redo that entire segment. Might actually be the quickest way to do this. Probably. Yeah. First up, I think I might move it back one block as well. One block further than it is. Which I can do while still keeping these solar panels on here, which we're apparently holding some stuff on. Oops. No, I'm not turning it into a solid box truck. That'll never get over a hill. The being a semi-trailer is actually super, super helpful um, for mobility in Space Engineers. Because I can get over hills without snapping the thing by hitting the ground. Oh wait, I need a I need an attachment point for this. I don't attach on the surface. I mean, it's, it is the same issue in real life, but uh, in real life you're not tending to take trucks of this size too much on terrain that they wouldn't be able to go on. I hope not. Yeah. It's a very expensive mistake to make. Yeah. Roads tend to be designed around the trucks. Indeed. I suppose also in the UK you've got trucks being designed around the roads too. That's all the panel's not actually attached. I need to keep one of these better points. Oh, this is the beginning of the flight conversion. Um, it's just... The, uh... I'll have the ability to make it rigid, but it won't necessarily be... Well, it won't be that way all the time. 
Because then it won't be a semi trailer any semi truck and trailer. That'd be sad. And I would also feel like almost like cheating. I wanna see if I can get this whole thing as it is to space. And still functional. I want to wait to find out whether that's gonna work or not. Uh yeah, caveman, I know this sounds bad in this circumstance, but honestly, if you're having troubles with getting started in Space Engineers, that's particularly why I created the Getting Started um, series of videos. And although they are now a few years old, they are still accurate. But you're still good to use it. Yep. Still very relevant to the current game mechanics. Yep. They will still not lead you astray. Grinding all this off. I may well just because <laughs> of the whole these are so old, they must be wrong thing. I may well try and make an extra effort this coming year to make, put some out in 2024. New Year's resolutions? Improve all tutorials? Yeah, just kind of redo Master? them and come up with a new way of... Maybe if, see if there are some better ways that I can provide some of the information. Because there are definitely things I could do better. Um... Apparently my explanation of how the unlocking mechanics work with progression uh, leave some people confused. So I'd probably put some more effort into that. That'd be the main thing, I think. I mean, to be fair, I get confused by the progression mechanics as well, but not, well, not necessarily the mechanics, but more like the order of things. It's weird sometimes. Yeah. It is a bit. Whoa! Wasn't expecting that to drop, and I should have been. Inventory full. Oopsie. Dropped a few bits. Never mind, it'll be fine. They're all on the deck. Urgh. That's what I meant to do. Ah, it'll be fine. But yeah, and so another, I am... another thing I'd like to add to the tutorials is an explanation of um, why players just starting out should turn off light, uh, weather effects. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's very easy to get confused by it when something suddenly breaks. You weren't yeah, paying attention and you've got for no ex explanation for it whatsoever. Yeah. Because the game does nothing to tell you that happened. And that your stuff is now exploded. Yeah. Uh, so, like, little things like that. But other than that, it's all still... Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll have to go back and actually watch them all through and write out some new guidelines and stuff like that to write to be able to write the new scripts so I sort of do script the tutorials in a rough sense but I usually record them maybe three or four times through until I'm happy with how they sound and, uh, usually then edit the whole thing and go back and go no I should have said it this way now I've got to change it Grr. Sounds like fun. Uh, Secret Gaming, that's exactly why my tutorials tell people how and why, not just how. I mean, you understand it better as well if you know why. Like, if yeah. somebody says, like, oh, draw a circle, and you don't know why, then why would you remember how to draw said circle? Yeah, exactly. 
Uh, how long did it take me to make a tutorial from start to finish? It's probably... Each one of those tutorials that I've got probably took me maybe 15, 20 hours each, I reckon. There's a, quite a bit of editing that goes into them to try and make them as succinct as I can while also not ignoring information that I think is important for people to understand so that they can avoid frustration. Yeah. Because that's my, that's my whole goal with the Space Engineers tutorials is to avoid player frustration. Give enough information that people don't get too angry with what's going on so that then they can find the fun because there's so much fun to be found. Yeah. Like, Space Engineers really is like, as soon as you have the basics, you can do whatever you want in this game. Yeah. It is your sandbox. There we go, a junction I've... here, so I've got something to work from. And then... I do feel like Space Engineers is very intimidating, and that is one of its downsides, just because of how complicated the game might look. Yeah. If you look at it with a fresh mind. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's something the community kind of has to fix, in a way? Well, it's certainly allowed me to find a new career than my old one, so... It's <laughs> something that... It's something I have understandably mixed feelings on, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It's a hmm, weird one. If Keen did this better, I'd still be working in the hospital. <laughs> Keen, continue to be terrible explaining your own game. Yeah. <laughs> Just awfully selfish, but it's, it's a it's a difficult feeling not to have. Oh yeah, cargo containers I could put in this, couldn't I? Have a good one, Keith. I'm doing. It. Thank you for the reminder. I completely forgot. Cargo containers obviously having the up, upside of having attachment points on them. that on uh is that right yeah that's right then one that then we go back oh i hear a doggo yeah not my dog one of the neighbors my dog is lying down behind me looking all exhausted Aww. from playing with all the other dogs at the kennel <laughs> She's always so sleepy and, and subdued for like the first 48 hours after she comes back. Oh yeah, and there are cicadas too, Jex, that is true. That might be what the background noise that Shadow heard was. Energy low. Ah, that would make sense, yeah. Yeah, it's summer. It hot. Um, what is it expected to get you temperature-wise today? Actually, that kind of reminds me. Like, as is it... Like, food for thought thing, I was like, since it can get fairly warm in Europe during the summer, it, it'll be winter in Australia. So what if I just go to Australia for a summer break? <laughs> for like, two weeks or so, just to escape <laughs> the heat as well. Like, that's, that's why I, like, that's why I would want to go to Europe in your summer, so that I can escape my winter. <laughs> So basically trade places. Yeah, I'd love to live the eternal summer. That'd make me very happy. Yeah, no, I, I would love to just live the eternal winter. Given I have the right clothes and a steady supply of hot chocolate milk. What were you making that needed grids? Uh, you ordered containers. a bunch of grids. I cancelled them because obviously we can't make them. Because we, the only ones we have are the ones that we ground out of things. 
one this break come on not sure what happened to my voice there but i'm sticking with it sure That's not quite how I wanted to. Like, yeah, it's meant to get to 28 today. Um, I think Thursday is going to be the brutal one. Oh, no, it's come down a bit. Only 34 on Thursday. I might be able to continue to edit in my shed on Thursday. <laughs> Maybe. Might survive. I was worried it was going to be 38 again. That's That's too hot. That's... my computer will not like me hot. Uh, Cairns doesn't have a winter. Cairns has a wet and a dry. Not sure Shadow would cope. How do you know? Because uh, you don't like the hot. And any place that only has wet and dry season. It's beautifully hot. Oh, I, I could live in Cairns. Lovely, actually. No energy. Uh, let's go. Some up kit. my energy. Stare at my gorgeous self on a couch. What? What? Swap kit. Oh, that's what you were referring to. I was like, wait, you're doing what? <laughs> what the heck does ODH do in the component? Zero deconstruct hide. Oh, okay, cool. So it basically doesn't show up and it will only deconstruct said item. Ah, uh, I never use deconstruct with Izzy. I'd like to set it up. <laughs> because it wastes so much power. Well, I mean, it's basic tools, like... Yeah, it, yeah, it's just... I, I, And I often find it annoying when it's doing deconstruct stuff, and you're like, Hey, where's my stuff? Yeah, like, I don't really do it for any other items. But mostly, like, if I have a steady supply of elite tools, it's like, yeah, I don't need to previous tools at all. So if yep. I do end up finding one, it will automatically get constructed. Um, right. How do I want to do this? How do I want to put cargo all over this thing? high enough for me to put a cargo down at this level. No. So why are you sinking? There we go. Stop sinking! Go up. And stay there. There's it. Too far. Oh, I see what you're doing for a hitch. What? That's clever. Having the cargo containers in the middle. Yeah, it also gives us a cargo access point that we can dump stuff into yeah. and pull stuff from. Um, and I deliberately spun one of them to be different to the rest so that I've got conveyor ports on the sides if I need them for something later. Also, I'm not sure how true that is, Nuki. I don't think it rains as much in the Netherlands in comparison to, like, Ireland. But we did already have a December where it rained 
basically every single day. So. I wonder how much rain you get compared to how much I get. Uh, lots more, I think. I think where I am averages somewhere around like 1.2, 1.3 meters per year. Uh, let me see what average is for here. Well, barely 790 millimeters. Yeah, so, so I get a lot more rain than you do. By barely. Amount, but I probably get fewer rainy days. Because we have massive downpours. Probably. It's hmm. about what I expected. Yeah, it's it's one of those interesting things. Australia, you'd naturally think of it as a dry, dry place, but. A lot of the inhabited parts of it are not especially dry. I can raise this up another block. Um, as in by how many, by how much rain falls, but we don't have many rainy days per year. It's just we'll have a day that'll get 150 mil in a day, sort of thing. Oh. Whereas you guys get more drizzly days that you know, might drop 60, 70 mils. Yeah, here it is more constant. Yeah. Although we did have snow the other day, which was weird. That's fairly early for these days, isn't it? Exactly. I, I think that start of this year we had a little bit of snow, which was very late. And this time we got it a bit early. But unfortunately it's already gone. Um. Are there anywhere like. I think there are some places in uh, the Northern Territory or in Queensland that would be similar to the swamps of Florida, sort of. place. Oh, I think that actually does need to be another block lower. The truck's sunk down at the front. We'll see. See how this looks when I merge block it. Doesn't explode. Okay. Looking good. There we go. And now I reverse. And hope it locks. I do think it's a block too high. Should I lift the whole mechanism another block? Probably should. Uh, I grind off. Actually, I'll lock it down first, then I'll lift the whole mechanism. Let's see if I can remember how to use this. There we go. Lock down. Yeah, the thing is definitely a 50 centimeters higher at the front. Uh, I mean, lower at the front. Ah, final! Oh no, I need the battery. Peace. <laughs> and Skoka! Thank you so much for the raids, welcome in! Welcome. Jeez. Yes, no instant orbital. I'm usually... I'm usually <laughs> pretty good at avoiding the instant orbital. Uh, welcome in, How many raiders. power cells did you order up from Izzy's? Power cells? Yeah. Have uh... you not got it automatically creating power cells? Not any, because we didn't have any. We quickly queue up some. I usually do like 160 or something, or at least enough for a large battery. But 
could do 80, that'd probably be fine. I think 80 is best. Without tight of resources, I suppose so. Mm, yeah, well, hmm. What do you. We'll uh, see. Uh, here, here. What do you. It's not that we're tight on resources, it's more that we're tight on power, which is limiting our resources. Oh. Same diff? Yeah. Same poop, different smell? Are you calling our base poopy? Uh, because no. I, I, I can make it colored that way if you want me to. I'd prefer you didn't. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, barely? Barely sure, yes. So, what are we up to? Um, I'm currently fixing our cargo situation. I'm currently fixing our truck. You mean tearing it apart and putting it back together again? Yeah, fixing it. That's how you fix things. Sure. You say so. Yeah. Hey, Red Rocks. Yeah, basically, I'm just base scribbling a little. Is doing what Shadow does best. Being distracted. Something like that, yeah. Wait, what? What do I want to do? I want to do this. Do? This. 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 I, and thought it's, I could see my own horns for a moment there. No? I think that's supposed to happen. Seeing your own no. Without a mirror, should not do. Yeah, a little bit concerning. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Actually, being able to stick around for the whole stream. Yeah. It was good. And hopefully something I can do more in the future, but I'll have to see how uh, stuff works out. We shall see. Yeah, it's good. Especially when Cap acts like an hour late. Again? Always. Uh, this is Ares at War, yes. Or as we renamed it, because we decided to start with an RV. RVs at War. And that is why I am sticking unnecessarily to this truck. Mm hmm. That's your only reason? Well, I guess you could argue that I named it that so I had a li I had some excuse for sticking with the truck when it was beyond its usefulness. Uh huh. Hey, Carmack. What are you doing up this late? How am I going to get this to line up? I need Shadow to help guide. Shadow is busy with shenanigans right now. What's you up? What you, you just came back from the office. Oh, you poor thing. Aha. Merge blocks are ready. I mean, lower the... I mean, raise the piston. And locked. Now that I hope that that's name the is right very spot. familiar. Hang on. I'm having yeah. a massive brain fart. Like, when it comes to the names of people um, from my class, I remember first and last names, no problem. When it comes to anybody else who might be a celebrity, instantly gone. Oh! As in Rocket. That's Rocket. Yeah. Where do you work, Carmok? That Dean was there. You don't know that Carmok is a keen developer. Oh right, that Carmok. Three rage free. The one I managed to meet at Carmok as well. Yeah. Which of these buttons do what? But, uh, any details you're willing to share? Or you're <laughs> allowed to share? 
There is that. Okay, that away. That away. Nothing really specific to share. Oh, that's unfortunate. So Shadow, uh, do you reckon yeah. uh, Kamok was here when I was talking about Keen not getting better at doing tutorials? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'd have to ask Carl. <laughs> So don't worry, I've been complaining to him as well. I'm not complaining, I was, saying, I was saying the opposite. Oh, okay, not complaining, but still. <laughs> what would I do if they did them well? I mean, if they eventually get around to making the next game, whatever it is, I'd probably have fun helping with that, to be honest. You've got an unknown signal that's not far away. I do? You do. You can see it's parachute. Oh! Yeah, 1.14 kilometers away. There we go. Okay, now I think I'm going to grind off the little lifter thing on the back. Was that you? <laughs> Was what me? You didn't hear that giant explosion. I didn't hear an explosion, no. Also, wow, those sparks. Uh, when, when explosion? Who explosion? I don't know. Thanks, Anonymous Gifter, for giving Tarmok a sub. Uh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Um, oh, um, my unknown um, signal blew up. That was what the explosion you heard, apparently. Ah. Why did I hear that one, then? Because it exploded. My question still stands. Why did I hear it and, well, you didn't? You were closer to it, I think. It was on the far side of the base of me. So I just absorbed all the sound. I see how it is. Yes, your sound baffling. Oh, I almost gifted. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Karma here as well. Uh, now. Do we think four large cargo containers is going to be enough here or should oh, I'll go off We can have another one on the back. I think that'll keep the weight balance better, actually. Thanks, NJ Yosh. How's it going? Thanks for the 500 bits. Oh, welding lights. Eyes burning. Time huh. to actually add some corner lights. We've got the mod that tones it down, too. No, we don't. Yes, we did, because I added the new it. one. Oh, you did? For sure. Well, it's not working. Well. I will have to check again to see whether something went wrong. Maybe I, maybe I did that doofus thing that I often do of hitting escape to close out of the menu. Oh, yeah, I I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy to do. Hey, Perseus, man. Thank you for the 100 bits as well. There we go. I mean, yeah, distant explosions do tend to get lost to me quite often. I don't notice them like I once did. <laughs> You're getting older, Splitzy. No, I've just been... Um, let's say desensitized by a certain ah, palindrome. Um, if you did add that reduced ice train mod, maybe remove it because it is flickering a lot. Yeah. I, I did actually test afterwards, and a lot of that flickering is vanilla. 
Uh, why is there iron in the connector? I'm so confused. Oh wait, no, I know why. Yeah. All oh, right. Someone let auto naming happen. No, somebody turned off auto naming without renaming the right cargo containers. <laughs> okay. I think that's a better. I think that's the better mistake to make. I hate auto renaming because whenever you have like oh, yeah. two I cargo containers for ores, and then you run out of ore. It, it completely voids that name, and why yeah. would it do that? I, I don't want that. No, I don't want that either. That's why I oh, so that we agree on that thing. funny, until you mentioned the eye strain thing, I hadn't noticed it. Now I'm noticing how bright the welder is. But it wasn't bothering me. Sorry. <laughs> it's never, it's literally never bothered me until people started saying that it bothered them. And I'm like, oh. Oh, now I see it. Great, you jerks. Why'd you have to tell me? <laughs> well, you don't have to call me a jerk. I did not do it on purpose. It's all good. Calling someone a jerk for me is usually the insult, uh, insult that I say when I don't really mean it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think we've played it um, for enough hours together to know what we're like. You've also seen regard. me play with cat enough to know that too. <laughs> that as well. <laughs> ah. Hey, wait. What? What? Did I misplace that? Oh! Larson Soul, thank you so much for the five gift subs! Madman! And you actually got hit by that one, uh, Splits? Oh, I did too! I did too. Thank you! And an old friend of mine. Oh, I, I need to go for the shadow. Oh. Kind of you to say. Now for the fun bits. Making some um, thingamajiggies and doobalackies and what's it? Uh, my brain, find <laughs> words. So specific. All wow. Right. What am I going to do for the tanks, the hydrogen tanks that I want to put on this? Uh, spinning. I'm not sure I can do spinning. Uh, but I can there do can. wood entirely, wipe out our whole uh, trailer if they blow up. I can do that. Sounds like fun. It might look alright going here, but I don't know whether they'll interact with the wheels. It should be okay. Because those wheels don't turn. So I might not look along. Right. Those wheels don't lie. Okay, I deserve the silence for that one. <laughs> the funny thing is, you got it not because I wasn't, uh, not because of what you said, but because I was reading something in chat. <laughs> and so I didn't fully register what you said. And now I feel bad. Oh, and Jade Josh, thank you so much for the. Uh, I was about to say give sub, but the, for the sub, thank you. Oh, that is very kind of you to say, Larson. Still, I'm glad you managed to catch one of these streams. Well, it's gonna be good. Eight hydrogen tanks. 
Johnny H, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. People, what are you doing? Encouraging you. That's what they're doing. Oh no. You're incorrigible. Uh, is that a good thing? <laughs> Usually not, but, um, I don't know. It's not fun to I say see. because they're, they're spelled completely differently. Oh. New stray shot is going to blow up the tanks. Everyone's. Uh, I don't have to worry don't. about this thing getting shot, do I? Do you? It's not a battle bus. I... Ogre! <laughs> Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub as well! That bad player! Thank you for the resub! People! Energy, no. This is clearly the booze bus too. Uh, explosive boogaloo? Maybe. <laughs> hey Navy Vet. I do remember when the hydrogen tanks were hit in Wrong Way Up. It was both funny and devastating in equal portions. Huh. <laughs> yes, Booze Bus 2 Explosive Fuzzy Lou. Uh, mm. <laughs> nice one, Yuki. I don't, I don't want to see that. You made it! <laughs> Doesn't mean I need to see it again. No, hey Shadow, what do you think of the trailer so far? Upgrade, downgrade, it's... side grade? How about tardigrade? Oh, I don't think it's that strong. Hmm. No, no, it's very explosive. Yeah. It's, um, a lot more cargo. Uh, it's a... It will end up being, yeah, a fair bit more cargo because of the cargo containers all along it. That is true. So How long is it going to take you... you to flip it, though? Uh, at least seven. Hey! Uh -huh. Don't do that! It's fun! Don't squash because me! Because you react. Oh, I wasn't trying to squash you. I just wanted to get that reaction. Yeah, you're going to get it wrong and... You're gonna squash me by accident, though. Yeah. And? I see that as a win. Oh, Shadow, should I have a sorter to offload your, um, mining ship? Uh, I'm probably gonna remake a mining ship soon, so I can add a sorter to that thing as well. Well, I mean, because this thing could, uh, offload... Uh, sorters are so slow anyway, you'll just manually do it regardless. Or, or, we add Izzy's. Uh, yeah, but when this is then connected to the base, it seems to Energy go critical. wonky off and Uh, actually... Also, welcome, Captain. There is a setting in Izzy's that I allows know, you to disable the yeah. Izzy's on one. Also, maybe hey, maybe it's more of a TFE thing than an Izzy thing. Yo. You were saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The instant four-person conversation out of nowhere. I feel like I should run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome back, Charlie. Did you get something in your ear? Oh, shaking. You made some good progress today, Shadow. Yeah. I still want to do more greebling though, which is a good thing. I think. Oh, you're right. Wow, you are adding a lot of stuff. Ooh. Ooh. I really Ooh. like that. Ooh. I think Capac will like this too. Oh, and TFE do. probably since it uses rounded glass. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Uh, it's a very cool way of using those box. Yeah. Nice one, Shadow. That's awesome. Yay, I did something. 
I mean, it's not airtight, so we'll, you probably need to put something on the inside, but you could probably just put um, half blocks on the inside where you've got the lights and it'd allow you to airtight uh, it. I wasn't necessarily planning on keeping it airtight because that would also mean I would need to close off this entrance. Yeah, that's fair. Which, But that is a really cool shape. I really like the yeah. combo of the two shapes there. It's very Art Deco. Yeah, yeah. I try to include round blocks in all my designs. It's a challenge I've imposed on myself, and it leads to some fun things. Yeah. Like the partial teardrop. Huh. Ah. Also, Carmok is asking for uh, Charlie picks. <laughs> um, oh. Where is... Where is easiest way for me to find... Uh... Oh, did Sockley get Blacky again? I mean, I have this photo of Charlie really convenient. Sad Charlie. When her tail was Aww. injured. <laughs> and I'm then I've got puppy puppy. photos. I haven't got anything recent, easily accessible right now. I mean, that's puppy I was photo. about to say, like, how are you not making a puppy photo? Puppy photo. Like, a dog photo every single day. Yeah, Charlie the Sad Lamp from the Pixar intro. Yeah, that's Charlie. That's my dog. Oh. <laughs> this was This was the day I picked her up. I need to go to the toilet. I have no energy. Run! <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. That's the opposite of how it normally works. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for a quick nap. Uh, right. Well, <laughs> since Capac's shown up, um, Shadow, we'll be back with more of this next week, won't we? Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I'll uh, be back with more Space Engineers on Friday, but right now, I'm going to go do some Icarus nonsense with TFE and Capac. And Shadow, are you doing more streams this week? Uh, yeah, I will be back on Tuesday with... I don't know what, actually. That is something I have yet to figure out. Um, I will also nonsense. be back on Saturday with... Who streams, actually? I will be doing a Forion in the European mornings with Path. Uh -huh. Because the beta went out of beta. Uh -huh. And we now have some more challenges. Fun time. And we'll be back with some more space engineers in the evening. And then Sundays with this. Cool. Alright, well, uh, uh. This. I need to do this. For those of you who don't know where Shadow oh, 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 can be found, oh. it's right there. But. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a sec. I'm going to switch over to some Icarus so that we can hopefully get back from our burning man adventures in the horrible lava zones. Yeah, don't fall in lava. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave the mics on and fill the screen with floating cat racks. Yep. I will start my...